okay. But it's starting to it's starting to come through. It's starting to actually be pretty good. So finally. I mean it's not that it wasn't good before. It just kinda of felt like Yep, basic easy Kirby game. I can't wait till we get to like the end game where the difficulty ramps up. So I mean, we're getting there. That's 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 what I'm saying. We're getting there. Speaking of getting there, in this game, I'm at a bit of a loss because I don't know how to progress. I don't know if I should just keep playing the game until story mode is done, and then I start raising my characters. Because and there's no way that I need to actually like fully invest into Ellen and my entire team to beat the story content. That's just not necessary. That's largely unnecessary. So I'm like, do I spend time building my second team? Do I build one team? I don't know how to progress. Um, Cause I'm gonna have to raise them all anyway at, at a certain point, but I don't know when that point should be. Um, and it's a little confusing cause I don't have a lot of resources to go off of. It was kind of like the opposite problem I was having with Genshin where Genshin was more established and I could follow the advice that other people had in place. This game is kind of more up in the air of how of how you you grow your account and my account certainly is growing incrementally slowly but surely but i don't know feels like feels like feels like i i might be huh. I might, I might have to go, I might have to wing it a little bit when it comes to where I invest. <laughs> like, I don't know if I should put time to my Sokaku. I don't know if I should do Anton. I don't know if I should, like, build Lycan. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like that the NPCs in this, or that the NPCs, I like that the MCs in this game, I don't think the pick really matters that much. Frankly, I think the pick is kind of worthless. It's just who you rock around as. You don't really lose out on, on either or. Which is good. Which is good. Because I feel like the people who... I, I feel like... I feel like... Especially with the Firefly thing. People may have not wanted to be... The particular gender they, po they picked. Um... And Genshin, I'm not sure if it matters as much, but yeah, I can definitely imagine in Star Rail, um, the, the, the context of their relationship somewhat changes depending on the uh, gender you are, or at least how it's perceived. So what the fuck am I doing? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Is text different? No, it's just that the cutscenes are different. <laughs> that scene where Kalis is like, oh, please, Firefly, live. It just feels a lot different than than Stell doing it. I don't know. It's just a, it's just a different vibe. You know what I mean? Like, if you get it, you get it. You don't, you don't. And if you don't get it, then... I'm sorry, but I can't really tell you. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> now, do any of these increases impact? Let me see something. This one increases the impact by six. I just don't know if it's a fucking waste of time. I feel like Loki, it might be. You know what I'm gonna start doing? You know, I think the story mode stuff is so easy that let me get to let me get to AR forty or at least thirty five before I start doing more stuff. Okay, in terms of like raising characters, I think I'm good. Let me go ahead and go back to uh, let's see where you at. Hello, HII. There you are. I got Butler boo. It's Butler, but yes, congratulations, yay! The next boo on my agenda is probably safety boo, and I think I'm done with boos. 
I didn't like that attitude. I'm sorry, I was just correcting you. <clears throat> My bad. I just figured that people who like learning don't mind being corrected. And people who don't like their egos in the way of learning would appreciate being corrected. But, you know. <clears throat> Rate my team. Ray's, Anton, Ben. Outstanding. Very good team. That's a very good team. The only way you can improve it, and I hate to say this, is replacing Ben with Anby. Because Anby is broken as fucking shit. And all the benefits that you're getting from Gray's with Anton with Electro buffs. Um would also would also be imparted onto her. Whereas Ben, even though he's also somewhat of a stun character, especially as you start to get constellations for him, especially as E6. He turns into like a pretty much pseudo days character. He doesn't have that uh, Electro attribute to him. But that could be a good and a bad thing. Because you could go against content that's not Electro weak. And he'd be able to benefit from being a different element. But he still has Bellabog. So I would say that team is, honestly, I would get it an A. It, uh, I would give it an A. If it was uh, Ambi, it would be A+. Plus. But that I think that team's fantastic. Anton and... and and uh and grace make a really good core <clears throat> isn't this the top uh, to your comp right now it is i figured i might as well start out strong right two lichens i might yeah i might as well just start out strong <laughs> it's gonna suck missing out on juyan but a uh, juyan but it's fine I especially wanted to wish on a banner because Ben was there, but whatever, it's fine. Better dodge. Mm. If we think about it, we'll be able to get enough Ben's as time goes on anyway. There we go, finally. There we go. I want one more so I can see six with the free one. Wait, which one? Oh, Ben? Um. Yeah, especially if you're waiting. Oh, you should be easy to be able to see six Ben. And see six Ben is awesome, I think. Because, yeah. He gets more days on his normals and his dodge. His dash attack is really, really, really fucking good. I think it's one of his best moves for building up days meter and not putting him in a shit ton of lag. And it also gets in day, its days uh, percent increased at C6. So we actually can serve us as both a, a stun, pseudo stun character that gives your team free crit rate and does a fair amount of DPS too because his defense is naturally high defense plus any other defense modifiers you might have on his kit gets converted into attack. So his high per his his high ratios make for big burst damage. So all around, I actually think Ben is really really solid. It's just that right now it's kind of hard to build around him because you'd rather just have Lucy. So it's like, mm. <laughs> and if you want a stun character, 
you definitely will play Ambi. She's one of the best characters in the game. She's so fucking good. Um, and if you have Lycan, then yeah. So Ben is kind of like in a, in a rough-ish spot. But I think he'll get better, especially as better defense light cones come out. Hmm. Oh, the combo tutorial in this game is very bare bones, basic, simple understanding of the game. But I think as you play it, you definitely do graduate away from it, which is good. Finally, we're 34, by the way. How's the later story? So, the intermission, um, I had a bit of investment with it. Um, it was Zhu Yan. Uh, and it was nice to see her. It was, it was, I, I mean, to be honest, Scott, it's kind of basic, but not in a bad way. It's like basic and like, uh, you, you kind of seen this kind of thing happen before if you play video games, like this kind of scenario kind of happened before. So it's nothing new. So it's nothing new, but it does lead into like other storylines. And that's really neat. I mean, like that, this, this next one I'm looking forward to. I know you don't like to stick around during plot stuff, which is sad. Which is sad, because I like conversing with you. But, if you must go. Do you guys like Nakamata? Oh, not at all. I personally don't. I like, I like, I like what they're going for, though. But it's just not for me. <laughs> Love the color. Like the idea. Not for me. <laughs> mm. As a unit, as a character. As a character, I like her story a little bit. It's kind of interesting. I think her combat, if I'm going to be honest with you, it's, I would get sick of that. Like, okay, sorry. Okay. And I kind of felt this way about, okay. Zhuyan, Grace, and Nakamata do this thing. And Ben kind of, or not Ben, Billy kind of does it too, right? Where the combos and the, and the animations look really flashy. But they go all over the fucking place. And I'm sorry, like, it looks cool. But sometimes I'm just, I'm just like, okay, can we get to the point? Sometimes I'm like, what the, f like, I, I don't know. Sometimes I'm just like, bro, can we just hit them? <laughs> like, I'll, I'll just fucking going everywhere and shit. It's like, okay, okay. They got zoomies. <laughs> Binge or Billy just, just <laughs> like, he's like, oh, what happened to my ammo? Bro, you're fucking shooting the sky. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like it's, it's uh, this, you're, you're shooting back the, the enemy's over here and you're shooting back back there bitch like what <laughs> anyway I guess I guess Nakamata's one of those characters where she's dipping and zapping all over the place right and I think it looks kind of cool but I think I, I think if that was my five star I don't think I'd really love that <laughs> because her being physical is kind of annoying because there's not a lot of physical buffers right now, and team and making teams is weird. The only thing you can do is like the, the bunnies or whatever. And I'm just like, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't be the happiest if she was my five star, but you know, it's fine. She's not bad. She's just you know. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. But her in story is kind of interesting, yeah. Also, I hate her burst. Sorry. <laughs> I hate that burst. Mm -mm. What about Soldier uh, Agent 11? Soldier 11? I do like Soldier 11. I I would have been really happy with Soldier 11. I would have been really happy with Soldier 11. And I like Grace's character. So even though she does all the fucking lots of trash movement, I guess, uh, I would have been okay with her. But I especially like Soldier 11. I think she's really fun. 
I would have loved to have gotten her, but I think Lycan is 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 by far and away like probably I want to say by far and away, but I, I would say like he feels the most fluid, the most nice, the most like oh this is good, right? He's almost setting a standard for me, and when I play other characters that aren't as fluid as him, I'm like, ugh. <laughs> I'm like, damn, y'all don't have, like, hold attacks? <laughs> damn, y'all don't have hold Damn, y'all don't have, like, iframes up the ass? Like... <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he kind of sets up. He kind of sets up. He kind of sets up the standards kind of high. <laughs> He's really nice. He plays really nice. How am I feeling about Ellen? So Ellen is interesting because what I what I realized about her is like, oh, she does kind of feel like a little bit slower. But the reason why she feels slower is because her payoff is really high because she has so much damage. She has so much damage that if you just had it readily available to her, she would be kind of fucking OP, right? So what I like about her is. Her damage is just kind of front loaded, right? Um, and then it takes a little bit of time for you to get your stacks back and appropriate meter usage and appropriate management of your frost, your flash frost, flash frost, flash, 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 flash frost stacks, like managing those appropriately. It's actually a, a nice little bit of a, like a nice little caveat that she has that keeps her, that keeps her checked. And if you really want that to be mitigated, then in all honesty like vertically like st staying with ellen for the next six months or seven months or so whenever they rerun her right and then upgrading to c s1 or cinema one that gives you more stacks per things per actions that you do is such a beautiful graduation because you've kind of dealt with the bullshit right you kind of dealt with like the weakness of her right you know, she's gonna have to get her stacks up and then, you know, it kind of sucks because it, it cuts into your day's time or into your stun time a little bit. And it's like, uh, like you don't feel too bad about it because she does so much damage. Um, But it's like, oh man. But once you graduate to this eventually, assuming you vertically invest in her and you like her, this has to be the, one of the most refreshing things. Like it, it's it's honestly a really wonderful C1 and I, and I, and I, and I'm, I, you know, <laughs> it, it feels it feels earned. You know, you sat with Ellen, you dealt with the bullshit, you saved your primo gems, or you saved your your what are they called poly chromes or whatever, and now you get to graduate to C one, and now you get more uh, flash freeze charges, and it's not as annoying. So I love it. It's 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 honestly really really nice. I want to see two. The third hit of her basic attack can be directly followed up with the EX special. Wait, what? Did she get that for free? What? Did she? What? The third hyper basic attack can be directly followed up, can be directly followed up into Shark Nami. So what are they, mass special? When using an EX special attack, each flash view charge increases the current attack's crit damage by 20 up to a maximum of 60. So it would, it, it, basic attack three, Shark Nami, EX special attack, auto. No, it would be basic attack three, Shark Nami, basic attack three, tail swipe, basic attack three, basic one, basic two, basic three. Okay, damn. What? Can I ask when you plan on doing the Zarian's quest? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know. Um, I just, I don't feel like I'm in a big rush to do it. I guess sometime next batch? I don't know. Especially after seeing Natlin. Um, yeah. <laughs> Whenever a squad member freezes or stuns an enemy, Ellen gains six, f what? Oh, okay. Yep, that makes sense. Gets rid of all of her bullshit. When Ellen uses her uh, bullshit, when she uses an EX special, chain, or quick charge, her pin ratio is increased by 20% for 6 seconds. Okay. Insane. She also gains one stack of the Feast Begins 
up to a maximum of three stacks. When she gets three stacks of the Feast Begins, using a charged scissors doing her dash attack consumes all stacks and increases the current damage of the attack by 250%? Damn, she said, snip. Damn. I don't want to look at this weapon because I don't want it to entice me, but let me take a look at this weapon. Okay, hold on, let's take a look. So, what does the weapon do? Okay, let's take a look. Uh, crit rate, uh, substat. Increases ice damage by 25%. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> stupid. It's good. You're getting what you're paying for. It's fucking stupid, but... Uh, upon hitting an enemy with a basic attack, the equipper's crit rate increases by 10%. For eight seconds. I don't know if I like that. When dealing ice damage with a dash attack, the wearer's crit rate is increased by an additional 10% for 15 seconds. The duration of each attack is separated uh, separately. Oh, it's C1. Or it's it's the it's our first constellation. It's not this. Oh, this is not. You, oh, okay. So this is not. This isn't giving. I'm sorry. This is not giving. What? Crit rate? It already has so much crit rate in the. Oh, it's not even that good. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> what? Okay, this isn't that good to me because I'm like. Okay, do I need to do the basic attack first to get the crit rate? Or is the basic attack that I'm using 10% additional crit rate? If I'm using her dash attack, it increases her crit rate by 10%, right? When I use her dash attack, it's to get flash freeze stacks, right? I don't want to be getting flash freeze stacks while the enemy is stunned. So theoretically, I would already have gotten these before my combo really starts. So I can go in and maximize my DPS time with my burst combo. So what I'm saying is, if you get this dash attack, you have 15 seconds to go back in the Lycan, do his combo, get the daze meter up, go through the whole chain attack animation. So go into Sakaku with her long ass animations, swap back into Ellen. She does her, her chain attack or you quick assist. And then she only has like a small window. Of the this is not that good. What? <laughs> what? I don't get this. This feels weird. I don't know if I like this. That is such a small window. I feel like at this one, she'd be like 20 seconds. You know what I mean? To make up for Sokoko's like really long animation times. But I do like the crit rate and I do like the ice damage. But I don't like the, the passive. It doesn't seem that good. Anyway. Mm hmm. Oh, there he is. Hi, Sweepy. Oh, time to relax after a long day taking care of the accounts. May I come and pick up that copy of Best Bid now? Of course. Of course you can. How about we watch it together? That'd be great. I'd like to learn more about market prices for certain commodities on the open market. It'll help me make purchases at a more reasonable and cost-effective price. You go with Ben to enter random play and watch the best bid together. Ben stares, stares, transfixes the presenter. Is he even blinking? Wait, am I seeing that right? A cement bucket that Big Bear Thyron's mixed in is being sold for 500 Denny's? Unbelievable. The world's full of all sorts of business opportunities, I guess. But isn't that just construction waste from our company's work site? Seems like I'd better reevaluate the value of certain company assets. Many of them may be worth a lot more than I originally thought. Mm. Like the calculator a certain sturdy looking bear Thyron uses? 
Sturdy looking air thyron. Are you talking about me? I don't know about that. My colleagues on site tell me sitting in that office all day is making me thinner. <sighs> it's nice to relax with a video after a job well done. I'll try to stop by more often. Oh. Whoa! What you doing in here, buddy? Hello. Whoa! <laughs> what you doing in my room? Okay, wait. You can barely fit in here. Oh my. Bro, you can barely even fit in here. You can't fit in here. Okay, I'm taking a picture. Hello. Say cheese. <laughs> Damn, why is this not happy? Damn, why is this not happy about this? Ah! <laughs> oh, what is all this? Newly added tracks. Um. Oh my god. No. No. Yep. No. No, <laughs> that's not how that's supposed to work. Then why is it here? No. <laughs> but. Wait. I might have to bring up the cupcake for this one. Wait. Wait. I love this song so much. Okay, anyway. Also, can I not hang out with him again? <sighs> Fine. Nicole, you good? Deep Wood Memories and Gilded Dreams in the Strong Box. Is it Vermillion also going to be? No. What else is going to be in the Strong Box that's going to be really good? Shitty niche thing uh, in Sumeru. Flower of Paradise Lost, finally. Oh, that's going to be real nice. Oh, my goodness. La da da, bum ba dum. There's no way. There's literally no possible way they can make a new domain in Natlin that's gonna be as, as good as March who say March who say, March who say, and Golden Troop. Okay, because I'm gonna be honest with you, like what could they possibly add that's that much of a DPS increase from? Oh man, I'm I'm running shitty. <laughs> Marge, you say Hunter. Ah, it's so shit. It, you know, the sturdy 6% crit rate is so shit. What? what? Oh, man, my off-field... Uh, my off-field golden troop. Oh, man, like, it's so shit and compared to this new thing. That's... It's just, it is not gonna happen. Like, there's just absolutely no way it could be that big of a damage increase. Because you know what I mean? Because it's so universal. With golden troop, with, uh, with, with deep wood memories... And, 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 uh, Gilded Dreams. At least there's some units that don't care about the EM, right? So it's not like as a universal, as universal as I said, right? And if you're not really using Dendro characters, then, you know, Deepwood is just kind of like whatever. 
And, you know, if you're using Emblem, some characters really appreciate the burst, other people don't, right? Shimanao was as nice as a two-piece, but it's still kind of niche because you have, like, more specialized things, excuse me, that are just better per, per individual character. But with the best unit in the game being Farina, directly interacting positively with with Mar uh, MH, right? I'm just like, how could you possibly outdo that? It's so universal and everyone uses it. Like, it can't be. <laughs> we said the same thing about Emblem and then we got Deepwood and then we got MH. Who's everyone? Anyone who's not using MH more than likely is gonna go to Emblem for burst stuff or is going deep wood. I mean, you still got some niches in there like tenacities and your in your in your no blesses, right? And your VVs. But beyond that, I mean, I don't know, like I don't know what they could do. And honestly, and to be honest with you, you have been sitting here so long. Stop. You have been sitting here so long. Come here. You have been sitting here so long farming deep wood or just farming um farming MH and getting golden troop pieces. You've been working so hard. You've spent so much resin in those fucking domains. Are you really gonna sit here and tell me you're gonna let it go? You're just gonna let it go? All that work, all that time? For what? How could you? You're not gonna do that, are you? Are you really gonna do that? No. Come on. But what about all the effort and the time and the, and the roles and the artifact experience and the resin and the and the disappointment and the drama of getting those right roles? Are you really gonna go through it again? Oh. What do you think happened to the elemental sets? I don't know because I didn't play early Genshin. I didn't have to worry about that shit. So <laughs> no, you're telling you're not telling me that part of playing these games early is that you're just gonna get new domains that come out and uh, relevantize your your previous work after all that time that you spend and after all that drama and after all that bullshit something new just comes out and fucks up everything you just did and now you just got these really good artifacts of a subpar domain just sitting there oh that's so nasty oh i hate gotcha games oh oh i hate gotcha games these are so bored Ugh. there's no way Mm, mm, mm. It's usually a minor upgrade. Well, I hope so. I hope so. I mean, because I'd be mad. Mm. Mm. Is she working here? Nice. I guess it depends. But farming artifacts is so... Ugh. Crew and Platinum? Oh, I'm so happy you both are here. Hi. I hope you had a great day. I do not want to see... Well, actually, you know what? Maybe it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if Yolan has a new set coming out in Natlin that's actually really good for her. Maybe that's fine. Maybe I'd be maybe I'd be okay with that. Because she's my favorite character. But I guess, I guess I'd be... And I haven't really farmed Emblem that much. So, I guess I wouldn't be too terribly opposed to that. Not with those ear requirements. Okay. I wish... Maybe I need to step up my content game, okay? Because... The way I would drop $169 to get Siege 1... <laughs> the way... so Just so I... Just, just so I can, like fully realize the team I want, but I'm not going to do that. Like, 
It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But I'm not gonna do that. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Why can't I say hello? Hello, everyone. It's Ace of the Third, and welcome to my Genshin guide on Mono Hydro and Genshin Impact. Okay, so forget what everyone else tells you about Mono Hydro. Okay. What you need is Siege Win, and what you need is Farina. The reason why is because these two units together will slash your Yolan's energy requirements in half. In fact, you'll barely need to run any ER at all. And the fact that you can't run Aquila Favonia on her, or let's see, Aqua Simulatra, Simulatra on her, because she needs so much energy recharge, put that Favonia's Roar Bow in the fucking trash. Give that shit to Diona or something. <laughs> With Mono Hydro, you won't have to worry about energy recharge ever again. With my wonderful, wonderful constituent, Puffy Purins, otherwise known as Danny, we've come up with a new strategy for Siege Win. If you go Sacrificial Bow on her and you blow some bubbles, one of the issues with Siege Win is that her skill buff, off-field skill buff, only lasts for 10 hits. But if you refresh it, with sacrificial bow, not only do you get four more particles for free, but you also will refresh that damage buff that Siege Wind gives. So if you have this issue with Siege Wind not doing any damage, then how's about we just let Farina do all the damage? Yeah, all right, yeah. Wibbly wobbly, exactly, exactly, exactly. Ace exploring Natlin with Yolan. What are you complaining about now? Oh, I'm not complaining about anything. I, 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 I am just a believer. I'm just a believer in Siegelin. And everyone thinks that I'm just kidding. And honestly, and honestly, I can't believe the people that have spent four years playing Genshin Impact and obviously have regrettable shitty pulls are coming from me about regrettable, not worth it five stars. When I know that y'all got some Eulas sitting in that fucking, in that list of yours, not doing shit. Okay, so don't come for me for wanting a character that synergizes with the best character in the game, okay? So go farm your physical set or something and let the pros do some work. So whatever. <laughs> Everyone synergizes with her though, which means Siege Win therefore is valuable. You just proved my point. Thank you so very much. See, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. You have proven my point, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly, exactly. It's literally like Topaz. It's like that Topaz and Robin banner. It just is. It's like Topaz and Robin. You want both. You just you just want both, but you can only pick one. And it sucks because they're both on the same banner and you don't want to pick Topaz because you want Robin because you have her action advance, right? You want Farina because of her fanfare and because of her damage percent bonus. So you can't afford the Siege Win. Siege Win is basically Topaz. And I might sound like a hot take, but I'm right, so. And I think people who don't appreciate low field time and high particle generation just wouldn't get it. They just wouldn't get it. Okay. You, you just don't get it. You just, you just don't get it. And if you don't get it, that's fine. Right. I just can't tell you. I, you know, if you don't get it, you don't get it. Okay. And I, if I can't explain it to you, if you're going to, if you're going to be too close minded to listen to reason and not open up and expand your mind with creativity, can you not feel the bubbles? Can you not, can you not, can you not, can you not see the vision? Right. Can you? If you can't see the vision, then we can't talk, okay? If you're just not gonna understand, all right? Like, it's too high level thinking. Mm. It, it's, it's too much. We need to beat you with hammers. I just, I just feel like, I just feel like, I just feel like a bunch of people who just spam Nubalette every abyss wouldn't understand what it takes to do creative team building against an impact, okay? Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I'm, I'm, you know, whatever. Whatever. Bell. 
You're back. You remember when you ditched Kaching for more damage? I ditched Kaching because I was bored. I've already got the TV set up to record. Oh. Well, no. No. What's up? If I didn't know better. Wait. Don't tell me. You've forgotten what's happening soon? Uh. I think I remember. Nicole's lawsuit. Lawsuit? What did I miss? Mm -hmm. That's right. The vision demolition case proceedings begin in a couple of days. Her old buddy Nicole is going to be on TV. She's representing the Canvas Street residents. She's going to court. Did I skip something? <laughs> we played our part in cracking Vision's case. I think it's worth recording the trial. Nicole sued Vision for trying to blow up a town of people. Oh, oops. Oh, I thought she just told the I thought she told the police. I thought she just snitched on them. Oh my goodness. I, I didn't know she was following the, the lawsuit. I thought she just told the I thought she just called somebody. I didn't think she was gonna She pressed charges? <laughs> She's so nasty. How is she gonna afford the legal fees? With what money? Oh no. See, honestly, this is this is okay. I see the plot now. The plot is we're gonna take Nicole, you're gonna take Nicole's lack of money, like lack of money and financial literacy, and combine it with Ben from Bellabog Industries, and the two of them together, together will be able to afford the legal fees. And on top of that, because we're making friends with the police, with the police, with Zhu, with with Shu Yan. And, and, and what's her name? Because we're in cahoots with the police, we can get insider information and the evidence and the evidence needed to win the case. I see what's going on here. See, I, I, I get the plot. I understand it completely now. I understand it all. I, I get it all. I get it. Just like you, always thinking ahead. Yes. Redo TV is streaming it right now. If you're not doing anything, yeah. you should mm -hmm. watch it with me. Welcome to this special preview of the Vision Demolition case. Let me see. I'm reporting to you live from the helicopter pad atop Janice Quarters Security Bureau. In a few moments, Charles Perlman, the accused, the cunning hares representing the citizenry, and others involved in the case, will, as is typical, travel to the new Eridu Supreme Court to await trial via the special court of law airship. The court proceedings will be streamed in full. Citizens are encouraged to follow the proceedings from home. Nicole, the airship is almost here, and you still haven't finished packing. And on that note, Nicole, do you really need to pack so many things for court? What do you know? The whole city's following this case. In other words, it's a chance for us to make a name for ourselves. So, of course, I want to make sure I'm putting my best and prettiest face forward. I'm not kidding. I even printed off some flyers about us to pass around to potential clients out in the gallery. Mm hmm Nicole, that's your phone. Sounds like a message. Thank you. <laughs> huh? Nicole, what's wrong? Mm, nothing. Uh-uh, don't tell me. It's another debt collection message from one of our loan sharks. Uh, put a sock in it, Nekomata. We don't owe anybody any money these days. Except for Faithen. And those other five loan sharks. Why are there more debts than last month? Exactly. And, and and here's my question. Why why don't crew and green plumber why don't they have VIP yet? What's going on? Where have your channel points gone? Junibees, where's the channel points? Pasta, where are the channel points? What, what, what's going on? What, 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 where are the channel points? Where's the VIP redeem? I don't, I don't understand. Derbs, where's yours? Huh? Mods can't get VIP. Well, I was just testing you. But what about everybody else? I'm almost there. I mean, okay. I'm just, I'm just, you know. I, okay, I was, you know. I don't like you like that. See, <laughs> see, and that's why, and that's honestly why this command will, will be immortalized. I'll be dead in the ground and they'll still be counting how many times pasta hater on something. See, like, see, mm. 2.5 more K to go. Mm. 
Mm -mm -mm. The way I could buy someone's VIP. Oh yeah, because of the watch streaks. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I'm ready to give these out, right? I'm excited to give these out. Okay, I got like these gold stars. I got these gold rainbow stars that I'm happy to give people. So I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> anyway. Nicole, what's going on? Who's that message from just now? Uh, yeah, what's going on? Huh? What's going on? Who is that? So many messages. And they're all blank? Ugh, I can't take it anymore. Who who's we are all likely to be at the center of debate during the trial. Next, we have a special guest. I thought Perlman's crimes were so outrageous that the trial would just be a formality. Saving of her crowd control. To debate every single detail. No wonder Nicole's been so worried about this case. Hi key. Hi key. I'd be down to uh to do some more uh Castlevania. That kind of sounds like fun. Castlevania crowd control. Actually, <laughs> oh, that fucking game. Ah! Every time he takes damage. Wait. Okay, maybe we should play some of that. Zip the night was really fun. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> uh, wait, would y'all be down? For some crowd control, Stampy the Night. That actually kind of sounds like fun. <laughs> if there was a command to summon, um, what's her name? The Witch. And, and you know, and you want to know something else? You want to know something else? Real quick. ADHD moment. Okay. Can I tell you something? Okay. I. I need you to understand that when I am when I want to find something and I go down my like like my obsession rabbit hole, I would go very deep into the internet, okay? I would do all the search querying. I will look very deep into threads that are like over two decades old, okay? I will look very deeply for it and very intensely for it, okay? And I searched high and low. I looked so all over the place for maximum power. And that scream that we thought was was so funny because I really, really, really wanted on my soundboard. And I went through about, not even kidding, about 400 plus sound effects because somebody ripped the, the, the audio files from the game. And I went through like 400 voice files. And you know what they did not have? They did not have maximum power and they didn't have that fucking funny yell. And I, and I, and I, and I can't believe that out of I, I, like 400 voice lines, 400 voice lines, that it wasn't in there. So I don't know what's going on. Like, I, it, it, okay, my headcanon, my theory is the, the, the enemy that in question is like, is like, is like, is like trans or something, and whoever was compiling it just skipped out on that one because of transphobia. I don't know what it is, but why would you have every other sound effect in the game except that one? I don't understand, and 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 and, 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 it, and it's blowing my mind. And I and I searched so high and low for it that I'm going to try to find a way that I can just like go into the game myself and rip out the audio so I can find that sound and isolate it and put it on my soundboard because I just don't know where it is. <laughs> I, I just don't know where it is. I, I can't find it. <laughs> I, I, I talked to somebody on Reddit. I talked to someone on Reddit for like a couple of months trying to like find their, their dump or whatever of the game. And I just can't find it. I, 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 so that will be a project. That That is still a project that is an ongoing thing. I will find it. And it will be on my soundboard along with Sola's laugh. I haven't forgotten about that either. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Nathan. What? What do you want? Nicole, Ambi, what are you two doing here? Is it work time? Is food included? Hi, Pierre. It's good to see you. Ooh, free viewers. Or cheap viewers. The plan, but I think there's something I need to discuss with you first, or else I'll be distracted in court. Mods. Mods. Thank you. What's going on, Nicole? What do you want to talk about? Faithin, remember how you asked me a while back to help you track down the hacker Rain? 
And decrypt the Bellabog Heavy Industries memory unit? Hang on. Are you telling me your conscience has finally overcome you due to you two not being as close as you claimed? Of course not! You can doubt anything about me, but not my connections. Even if Rain is the hottest new thing on Internet, she will still back me up. Mm -hmm. It's just some weird stuff's been happening to her recently. Thank you, Yoshi. I smell some gossip. Hmm? Do I smell some gossip? Put away your popcorn. It's not that simple. <laughs> cool. Basically, it's just this. Lots of us who are close with Rain, including me, Put get away. messages from her every now and then. Oh. But they're all blank. I kind of want that to be a part of my vocabulary. That's actually so good. She kind of gagged me. Put away your popcorn. Excuse me? Put away your popcorn. Damn, she clocked all the gays with that one. Oh my god. <laughs> Put away your popcorn. <laughs> Whoa. Put away your popcorn. It's not that simple. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> At first, I didn't think anything of it. Uh -huh. But then it continued for a couple of weeks. And worse, apart from these messages, it's like she's disappeared into thin air. Mm. And it feels like things are getting worse. She used to send one every few days, max. But... She's already sent five or six this morning. How do you untime out pasta? You type be type in slash untime out username. If you're in a uh, keyboard, if you're on mouse and keyboard PC, you can start typing it and you should be able to press the tab button to fill it out immediately. And again, for those of you who have seven TV, make sure if you haven't, if you don't know about the shortcut yet, if you want to type in a 7TV email, and I think it's which email it works too. Type in a colon and then start, uh, and then start typing whatever the emote is and you should be able to fast, uh, you should be able to, uh, to input a fast. So if you want to ULAS, right, exactly, yeah, me too, wait. <laughs> right, me too, me too, hold on, wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that is the best emote in the world. It's so good. <laughs> okay, actually, we'll, real quick, real quick. Come with me. Come with me, come with me, come with me. I want to see something. I want to, I want to, I want to discover this information together. Chat stats. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay. Top seven TV emotes. Okay, let's see it. Clap. Actually, Miss Miller at third place, even though I just added it like a month and a half ago, two months. Miss Miller <laughs> at third place. Okay. Well, yes. Oh, Ma Giggle at seven, Dora at eight, Olivia Nod at nine, High at ten, which is insane to me. Yes, yeah, it, it goes up live, by the way. You could you could pad these stats if you really wanted to. Classy party already at eleven. What? Lady Sigh at twelve. Bust at 13. Do not engage. Clap, huh? Um. Looking, promoted, yapping. You lads at 21. Yes! <laughs> Stop. Wait, no. No. No, wait. Top 20. <laughs> wait. Stop. <laughs> okay, so what would we got now? Hold on. You last has been promoted to 20. <laughs> Where's Topaz? Uh, let's see. Sonic waiting, go bass, Marcia blank, Firefly. Gui <laughs> donk the uh, dink donk. I can't one Pippo leave demoted cat disco somber hack combo dance mod the voices combo shh which is insane which is insane to me giga chad bit fruity child is insane flashbang clueless mod check really gun pull march selfie whoa well, well sort of kinda carly sway blabbering kicking. 07, Chikorita, Pime on Point, Girl Bossing, Aware, Sad, Yapping, Cat Nerd, Actually Gage, Rat Jam, No, Escape, <laughs> Pime on Please, Caught, Yalan, 2, Cat Rave, Yuri, Camilla Hug, My Honest Reaction, Guoba Stare, Let's see, Awkward, Lisa Way, Where the fuck is Beige at 100? What? 
Where's Topaz? It's not even a top 100. Damn. <laughs> it's not even top 100. <laughs> yeah, it's not even. It's not even here. Wait. Lynette T is better than Topaz. I mean, to be honest with you, given that frame rate, I get it. <laughs> Scott at eight is actually insane. What? Scott at eight is insane to me. What? Where is Shepherd's Munch? It is. I think it's top fifty, right? Isn't it? Wait, what the hell is it? What? Where the hell is it? What? Chevrolet Munch. Where the fuck is it? I just saw it. Hello. There it is. Twenty nine. Do I eat that many chips? <laughs> I don't really. No. Do I honestly? It's not that serious. It really isn't. It. Yo, you know you also have better Twitch TV emotes and Franker face emotes too, right? Nobody really uses these, but they're there. I think I actually pay five hundred five dollars a month for this one. I probably should just stop because people really aren't using it that much. Anyway. There it is. <laughs> that does sound strange. Barry, can you take a look at these messages from Rain and check to see if they really are blank? Of course, Master. Master. Analysis confirms these messages contain absolutely no additional content at all. However, the sender's location is not encrypted. Wait. After analysis, the coordinates show the messages were sent near the Ballet Twins buildings. Wait. Scott, you're pre nine tails. You're post nine tails, aren't you? Oh my goodness. Pete sneak. Oh, I. Oh. Pete used to talk a lot. I didn't know where Pete went. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm not. A, okay, okay, okay. I'm not a hater or anything. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Because everyone can do what they want to do, right? But there was this era. I forgot what it was. I think I had my Discord or something. And he who not who shall who he who shall not be named had like ruined it and it was it was awful. And then there was like this big like split. Like there was like this split in my in my fan base. And everyone like went to, went to go over there to their thing. And I guess everyone like grew out of me or or, or I don't know, like or something. Like, everyone just fucking, like, or not everyone, but there was, like, a big subsection of people that just fucking, like, <laughs> ace. They treated me like I was some, like, kid show that they grew out of or something. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I was like, I didn't, I didn't do anything. <laughs> and everyone used to be like, I see you like, hey guys, it's good to see you. And everyone would be like, oh my god, Ace, it's good to see you. And I'd be like, oh, hi, oh my god. And then, and then there was like this energy was like, hey everyone, it's Ace. And then it's just like, eyes up, eyes up and down. Hello, energy. And I was like, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Nicole? You've gone completely pale. Is there something wrong with that building? You must not care much for urban legends, Proxy. The ballet twins are a set of two towers, and lately, there have been popular rumors of paranormal events happening there. People say that there's... I'm also gonna be honest with you. Um, I'm also gonna be honest with you. It doesn't sound bad. Okay, it, it, it did kind of sound shocking, right? But it's really not that shocking. I started making YouTube videos. I mean, I started doing it when I was like 12 um, or 13. 
but like a star stuff kind of started happening about 10 years ago <laughs> which is which is a good percentage of my limited time on earth and that makes me happy i don't know like i i guess i'm like i've spent a fair amount of time in this content space i kind of like it it's it's not bad you know it, it, it's not too shabby you, you know i just wish i didn't have that fucking depression oh I'm telling you right now, if my family supported me, if I had that ADHD diagnosed when I was a kid, and I had that like self confidence, like like mental health education that I needed earlier, I would be unstoppable. I'm not even gonna lie. I probably would have like 1.3 million subscribers right now. I promise. Like I would. I just. I would. Oh. Oh, oh, oh! I got fucked. It's fine. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay though because I like you better as a streamer. Yeah, like I I, I do enjoy streaming a lot. I really do. It, it's it's a lot less pressure than YouTube, but the answer is not to stop doing YouTube entirely. It's to delegate YouTube to somebody else that I pay every month to take Twitch clips apart, to put them on YouTube while I don't worry about it <laughs> and not have the stress on me at all and let it grow over time passively while I have fun on Twitch. That's really the answer. <laughs> that's that that is that is the honest answer what I should be doing. And then splitting up those YouTube videos into like clips to put on Twitter and TikTok that all kind of gravitates towards here is the correct way to be doing things. Just let me get my degree, okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Honestly, it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it, okay? So long as I don't fucking die, I'll get it, okay? Anyway. Oh, and and, and and one more thing. Um, and I'm being serious about this, so do listen. Um, I really do appreciate that I can be open in my communication talking about stuff like that, and it is something that... I'm very grateful for and is something that could be easily assumed to just kind of be like a, well, you know, you're good people. So you listen, you don't give me shit for it. But it, it honestly, when I look at other content creators and I still kind of look at YouTube, there's still like the, the smash thing going on and it, it might seem harmless, but I guess there seems to be like this vibe here where, you know, I'm not tied to a particular thing and it feels as though that the majority of everyone kind of understands that yeah we're kind of in this age kind of you know kind of trying to get through day by day you know and our mental health isn't perfect you know we're we're kind of we're kind of gay we're kind of fruity we're kind of nerdy you know we kind of got you know some neurodivergency you know we're kind of young and not making a ton of money and kind of learning how to figure out this life thing right you know, we're kind of minorities. Um, we're kind of figuring it all out. And I really appreciate that, uh, that, that grace and, and realness that you have with me. And I don't know. It's like parasocially, this, it all feels really nice and comfortable and, and good. And I appreciate this space a lot. And I appreciate that this can be the majority of the time that I spend. And it is a mutual beneficial thing that uh, everyone enjoys. And it makes me really happy. And I hope it makes you happy too. And I'm really happy I'm here. 
and I hope and I'm really happy that you stayed over the years. And I really hope that I, as I continue to grow, that that output shows and what I put out so that we can continue to have a good time and have fun. And all the while, I can get some fucking money and <laughs> like, please, <laughs> and stop fucking around <laughs> and, and grow my fucking YouTube channel that I worked years for. Like, yeah. So thank you. I appreciate it a lot. I really do. Um, thank you for not being like, I don't know. Uh, blind to my humanity. So thank you. Whatever. I'm not looking at chat. I'm not looking. Ordinary people can't transmit data in and out of the hollows like you two. So how could Rain's messages be coming from? I'm not there? looking. I'm not looking. Based on her capabilities, I'm not looking. I don't think Fairy would be mistaken. Hey, Belle. Seeing as how we're urgently trying to find Rain, and since Nicole is so upset by this, what do you say we go over to the ballet twins and have a look around? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's focus on the story, okay? Let's be, let's stay focused. <laughs> Nicole, we'll go check on Ring's location, but we're likely to end up in a hollow. Can you lend us Anby and the others? Of course. It's not like I'll need them in court anyway. Oh yeah, this is for you. It might come in handy. Girl, you're talking about you and Wilson getting together. Where the fuck did, um, <laughs> what's his name that met their partner and got married and moved in together? They haven't been here. Where'd they go? Um, where'd they go? It's, um, starts with P, uh, oh my goodness. Um, let me find. Thought, pains, uh, swift. No, Pastellini, no. Pharma, Vash, no. Ice Cut, Simpleton? No, it wasn't Simpleton. Uh, yeah, 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 that kicks. Not, it's not Puffy. Not Sergey, can't say, no. Pete, no. Oh, see. I follow him on Twitter. I would need to look up the name because it's, it's been a bit. Yeah, because it's been a bit. It's it's been a bit. But somebody, I, so they like met each other and like and like had a relationship and eventually got married and they moved in and ever since they moved in they just they've been you know <laughs> they've been busy and I'm just like oh my god <laughs> that's cool I love that. <laughs> Honestly, one of the coolest things, too, I've had people that have just swapped genders, too, ever since, like, they came to the community. I've had people that, like, just, just completely changed identities, too. Ah! <laughs> like, ah! I love that. <laughs> uh, dang, I forgot the name. But anyway, yeah. Um, all right. Nicole, in this picture, is the girl with the backpack ring? Huh? Is something wrong? She's a regular at our video store. Wow. I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover. If you want to talk about hidden identities, doesn't Faith and use the video store the same way? Hmm. Anyway. I'll leave rain to you because I've got a blimp to catch. Proxy, I'll take Billy and Nekomata with me. Meet us later near the Ballet Twins. Goodbye. Okay, what am I doing? Why can't I think of that username? That's gonna that's gonna keep me up. My ears are hot. <laughs> My ears are hot. 
Hmm. <laughs> What the fuck is this? Does this do anything, by the way? Does anyone know? Somebody said that you get more rewards, and I think, I, I find that, like, I'm not sure, like, I'll just do it, it's fine, but, like. <sighs> we made it. I don't think but so. Okay. Where are the ballet twins? Just across the river inside the hollow. Did that hacker's message really come from the hollow? <gasps> Wait! Look above the hollow! That's the top of the ballet twins! So that's it! I'd heard the companion hollow had shrunk recently, oh. and that's left the top of the building exposed. So that means Nicole got that bizarro message from there, right? Even if that's true, what was Rain doing in a place like that? Okay, team. First, let's think of a way we can get ourselves up there. We're here. The ballet twins. Ooh. Impressive. What's that supposed to be? Entry into Target Hollow. Ballet Twins area confirmed. The ballet buildings were lost to the hollow ages ago. The lights inside don't work. We'll have minimal visibility on this route. Be prepared. Lights off, candles on. Nicole would approve. We're sleeping better? We're saving money. Music? Music? Oh, this I I hope the combat music is actually good. Please be good. Please don't be some dubstepy bullshit. Oh. 
leading position. <laughs> At your service. It's very good. I'm loving what I'm hearing. Careful. Enemy up ahead. Oh, it's coming for us. Everyone okay? I got careless. I didn't think it'd storm us like that. Are are we back where we started? Let's try to avoid any unusual enemies. This music is so good. Okay, this is where we started, okay. Terminal here is I can activate this terminal to reveal nearby areas for exploration. Nice. Ooh, even the lights are back on here. Oh. Terminals and see. Nah, I probably didn't have to fight this, but it's fine. Okay. Mm. 
Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um. Oh, I don't like all that. Wait. Um. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting better at the game, but I'm not sure. Because my thing is like, now that I've played it a little bit more, I'm starting to understand what each stat means. I'm starting to understand the importance of iframes. But there's something that, I, that, I'm, that I'm still not very familiar with. And I think it's like using assist counter. And you know how you can cancel animations, right? So if I do an assist counter, right? And my character like parries it, right? The character that I'm swapping in parries the attack and they go like, boom, and it's that big like defense animation or whatever. If I swap during that, right? Is that a good thing? Or should I go for like the follow up attack after that? I don't know. <laughs> Cause I know that the enemy gets a ton of, uh, uh, gets a ton of days for it. So I wonder if it's like actually a good thing. Like if I, if I, if I like, if I went ahead and I blocked it and say I swap into Nekomata, right? If I quickly swap back to Lycan, if I can use that little time where the enemy is like recoiled from the assist counter, if I can get the days meter up that way, it's something that I'll have to test out. I think the scaling is pretty good on those follow-ups. Okay, then maybe I should just attack. But like, if it's if it's Sokaku, right? Then at that point, I should just, I don't know, like, let's get into combat, and I'll and I'll and I'll and I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Avoid them by heading left. Wait a minute. There's a flashlight. Really? Hey, manager, sign the. Active ether reaction lost. It works. Master, there are no targets to be eliminated in the vicinity. And that's where I just came from, right? Can't you swap while the kind of follow up is happening? That's a good question, too. That's the thing I'll have to check out. Because if so, then I've got an idea. Yeah. Use all the tools available to you. Okay. Increasing visibility will help us see the enemy earlier. That's nice. Great. The enemy is retreating. Okay. The enemy is retreating. I well, hope I didn't miss anything here. Okay, this is good. So, so this is what I mean. Um, so with Sokaku, right? No worries. Say no more. So with Sokaku, right? Move list. Um, what's it called? Dodge counter, well, quick assist, defensive assist. So if I defensive assist with her, I guess my question is, when a character is on field is about to be attacked, press space to activate, she parries, right? So my question is, does that give her a stack? How does she get a stack of this? Oh, that's Lycan, my bad. Sokaku, Sokaku. Core pass, okay, okay, let's see. Uh, when Sokaku flies the flag, this can be passed along. Right, but how does she get Vortex stacks? Can she get Vortex stacks from defensive assist? When the character on field is about to be attacked, press, okay. Massive days. This excels the pairing attacks and reducing concession of assist points. The character is invulnerable when using the skill, right? 
But do I get Vortex? I get Vortex from using a chain attack. Fuck! 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 Because I don't know! My question is like, why use this? I think defensive assist looks cool, right? When you're about to get hit, you press space, and then it does the, the big animation, and it's great, right? But my question is like, wh why? What's the point? Is it, is it for the days? Because at that point, like, why would I not just stay on my Lycan and have him build up days naturally anyway, right? Because he's really good at that, and he does it in like two seconds. So what's the point of going, taking him off field, right? Taking him off field, and then, and then, and then, and then having somebody else be on field who's not building up days like he is. Like, I don't, I don't understand the point of this. Uh, hmm. Maybe it's for teams without a stun unit. Okay, that makes sense too. Yeah. What about assist follow up? Okay. Press attack after a defensive assist to do an assist follow up. Right. Does ice damage and then strikes all enemies. But who cares? Unless that's like Ellen, right? <laughs> like, who cares? Defensive assist, defensive assist. Assist follow up. Ice damage. Pressing pulled repeatedly with extended duration of the skill. Okay. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, that's good. Okay, so Ellen's is worth using. I don't think Sokakus is worth using. Ellen's is very much still worth using, though. Okay, neat. And then the last thing I wanted to see about Ellen is... Okay. Oh, wait, what? Whoa, wait, I was just kidding. Wait, I was just kidding. Pressing attack after defensive assist activates... Okay, she strikes, does ice damage, holding attack while using this skill allows for a quick transition to fly the flag, which can allow into a quick assist into Ellen. And also can start a chain. Okay, not bad. So let me see if I got this right. So, hang on. Let's try this again. So. Wait, hold on. Oh, and I had to attack afterwards. Okay, okay. So I'll try it again. Hold on. And then she. Okay. Right. Okay. 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 But does Ellen get the buff? Where's the buff? <laughs> what? At your same position. How do you know if the buff is active? Top left. Hold it. Okay, I'll try. Hello. There it is. Okay, I see what's going on. Right, I got it. I got it. I got it. But she doesn't have three stacks. Okay, now she has three stacks. So. Right, now she gets the buff. Okay. Neat. Okay. Seems a little convoluted, but more options is always good. Fascinating. So Kaku is actually I, I agree. So Kaku is 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 quite interesting. I, I think how you implement her slow ass shit and take advantage of iframes is actually quite important.
This is a nice team. I like it. Her slow attacks are good because you can swap out of her while you're doing attacks. But the, the thing is, though, is the only way that you can swap and give her buffs to other people is if you do a chain attack into them or if you quick assist into them. So animation canceling, I don't think it's necessarily the greatest thing on her, even though her animations take fucking 10 years. It's because you need to get the quick assist. Otherwise, she's not doing anything because she's not a she's not a damage dealer, right? There's no reason to be on field with her unless you are trying to get up your vortex stack so she can actually give the attack buff, right? So therefore, the only ways that getting her on field and doing something is purposeful is if it means getting up those stacks or finding a way for her to transfer her buff onto Ellen. So I don't think the animation cancels do much for her. I know they do a lot for Lycan, and I don't do as much for Ellen, but Lycan, I think, can definitely use his EX special, swap to Sokaku, and then Sokaku can get off an EX special, get up one of her Vortex stacks, swap into Ellen, starting the chain attack, swap into Ellen, and then swaps Ellen swaps back into Sokaku, and then Sokaku goes her for a fly the flag, and then can quick assist back into Ellen. Yeah. I know that kind of sounded like a bunch of fucking nonsense, but like, but but she's cooking. She's cooking. She's cooking. She's actually she's actually she's actually a really I <laughs> she's very fair. And, and the fact that she's so fair makes me think that she is going to be subjected to potential power creep in the future, which is a little sad, but yeah. <laughs> Hello. Master, there are no targets to be eliminated in the vicinity. You want to stop yelling at me? Great. The enemy is retreating. This is nice. We finally made it through. Manager, let's get over there pronto. One minute, by the way. Make sure you do your dailies. <laughs> I forgot my dungeon dailies. Oh, so you don't care about Yulon, you don't care about Navia, you don't care about Natlin, you don't care about Emily, you don't care about shit, do you? It's fine. Well, yes, wait. <laughs> Well, she's kind of she's kind of cooking with that. Wait, who cares about Natlin? <laughs> I genuinely think that if everyone kind of has that lukewarm. Okay, here's my thing. Here's my thing, right? Even if you like Natlin and you're excited about what you're seeing, if you have a conscience, right, then you understand the, the issues and the qualms that people are gonna have with the with the with the with the melanin issue, right? And I think because of that, everyone who's seen it and is aware of it and sees the problem with it, even if they are surface level happy, I think it's gonna be weird because there's going to be this sort of icky feeling along with all the joy that you're feeling because you know that it, something's off, right? Like, it's not that it's gonna be like a purely happy experience. There's gonna be this like predominant happiness because Natlin is fun and it's new and it's cool, right? But then you're also gonna very much so notice like the issue with the melanin because it's gonna be brought up over and over again. It's never, it's not gonna be brought up. It's gonna continue to be brought up for a while, right? And I and I think that because of that, because it kind of dull, dulls the experience a little bit um, for some people who are kind of bothered-ish by it, and then the other people that really are bothered by it, I think that it's going to stand people's minds more, and therefore more is going to be said about it, and with more being said about it, it will cause the company whose success is contingent on making its consumer base happy 
act and say something and maybe do something. And so what I hope is that people don't become jaded and feel like them being upset isn't gonna do anything and feel like Hoyo is too far removed from the melanin conversation to actually change anything. To me, I feel like as long as people hold on to that a little bit and 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 let it be known, right? Don't, you know, I'm not saying that people don't have to spend money in the game. You can spend, you can do whatever you want to, right? But I think that that inkling of ick to it, right? Is something that really is gonna go a long way or should go a long way. And I think it does matter and potentially things can improve in the future. And I'm not gonna give up hope because you guys have been playing a lot longer than I have. And I think that you are much more, it's much more understandable and valid for you to feel more jaded about Hoyo decisions and stuff that, you know, hasn't changed for years and think that they won't do and think that they won't budge on. I guess that I'm feeling somewhat optimistic about it because I'm new to the game. And as I've, became, as I've gotten into the game as a new player, I'm seeing quality of life changes that people have been asking for for years. People have been asking for in-game content for a really long time. You know, ZZZ comes out and, you know, people talk about this body type issue, right? And I know that anthropomorphic characters don't necessarily constitute like a, you know, a new body type, but it's nice to see like someone like Ben in the game. You know, it's nice to see someone like Lagan in the game. Like it's nice to see, um, what's the name? The, the artifact woman in the game cyborgs you know nakamata actually having some melanin right those are steps and i know it's like a different team right it's not it's not the same thing but i guess to me i think it is possible that with enough feedback and and complaining and bitching that the company again whose success is contingent on making its player base happy and therefore the player base has much more power than they realize I think that the potential for change to happen can be there, but I just need people to kind of hold for a little bit. Um, and, and then we'll see what happens. Um, because yeah, like I'm excited for Natlin, but it's also like, eh. <laughs> and, 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 and I don't know, I, I just, I guess I'm hoping a lot of people feel that way. Like, eh. <laughs> because, if you, because if you feel eh, you're less inclined to spend money. Right? And if you're less inclined to spend money, what's the company gonna do? <laughs> you know? So, a, a, a bit of optimism, I would say. I mean, it's very much so within the realm of possibility that they do nothing at all, right? And the people that remain jaded and don't feel like Koyo is going to budge and won't dedicate emotional energy to that can feel validated and that their pessimism wasn't, you know, Ill it, it wasn't ill-advised. It wasn't like they weren't wrong to be pessimistic because yes, Hoyo didn't do anything, right? I guess I'm kind of willing to take the L if they don't, but I'm going to stay, I'm, I'm going to stay on the verge of like, all right, company, right? You're getting all this negative feedback. What are you going to do? You don't want your reputation to tank, right? If even your CN player base and JP player base is saying something about it, along with the NA player base, right? And then enough people talk about it and make videos about it and it trends on Twitter and you get thousands of likes on certain posts and they're getting signals and, and attention, right? What are you gonna do? Are you are you gonna are you gonna are you gonna take that right? You're gonna have people playing the game a little bit less, right? You're gonna have people skip out on these characters, right? Are you willing to take a loss, especially four or five years in the game and it's getting old, and people are kind of sick of it? You know, some of the issues that maybe you've had over the couple of years, and some people are losing interest in the game, right? I mean, you know. What are you gonna do? You're gonna let that happen? Really? You're gonna lose that on money? If you want to, I mean, okay. <laughs> you know, okay. The game is free to play, so, you know, I mean. 
if you want to play, then I guess we can play. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> so that, that's, that's what I'm thinking, you know? <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, 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 we, we will see. Um, because yeah, it's kind of gross. <laughs> it's kind of nasty. <laughs> I'm not really happy about it at all. Um, and it solves the experience and I'm more than happy to stay a little bit longer in Fontaine if it means like not really going there. <laughs> What's wrong, Ever since we set foot in here, I feel like someone or something has been watching us. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I think yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I was I was doing all that yapping, right? I didn't see Raymond, and I didn't see I didn't see uh, Shogun. Good to see you too. Oh my god, I didn't. My bad. I'm sorry. I was yapping away. My bad. <laughs> but yeah, I I think <sighs> I understand that and see in culture this this whole thing about like bleaching and light skin being like this very appealing thing like this very desirable thing in the culture that like a lot of people strive for with their particular uh beauty standards and that's like a big cultural thing that has had many many years of of being engraved into people's minds right and so it may has it may it may have become like a cultural norm right and if it, if, it, if it is what it is over there then you know they'll work on it if they you know you know that's their thing right um the problem is when you have a game that directly takes inspiration from real life and reflects it in some ways but not others and with how deliberate Mihoyo is, and especially Genshin when it comes to the decisions that they make, right? Like, everything that the company chooses to do and dedicate time and resources into doing is money being spent. And they're going to be very deliberate in how they choose to do those things, right? Otherwise, they wouldn't be profitable, right? They wouldn't be a successful business, right? And, you know, if you're very deliberately choosing to have a nation that has influence from from latin american and west african culture and you choose deliberately not to make your characters reflect them right more accurately but you choose in other ways to, to eh, right right what does it say right what, what you know what, what is it saying and I just and I and I would like them to understand, you know, I, I understand I understand that they want to sell, right? And they want to make money, right? But Melanin is beautiful, right? And you got a whole host of other characters that don't have it, right? So even if you have a profit loss because a certain section of people don't think the characters are beautiful, right? I mean, you know, <laughs> like, it's not like you're not going to have other characters to pick up the slack. And so that's the part that I don't get either, right? Like, <laughs> not even experimenting, right? And, and another thing, too, and another thing, too, is if they've done test runs with, like, Shin Yan or Shin Yun, whatever her name is, and then make her dog shit in the game along with Dia, right? Undesirable characters, not because they're melanin, but because they fucking suck ass. Same thing with Arlen. Like, oh man, like the data is just indicating that uh, people just aren't caring about Arlen and Dia and, and, uh, and, and, um, and Shen Yan. What's going on with Shen, whatever her name is. Uh, what's going on? It's because maybe they're, maybe they're dog shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> maybe because they're bad. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's just, it's, just, it's it, uh, I don't know. 
they're not dumb. They're very educated and well established and make intentional choices and, you know, went to college and understand that the choices that they make have consequences and millions of people all over the world reacting to them, right? So they are aware of what they're doing. They've got people whose jobs are completely dedicated to to making sure that people see what the the players are saying and seeing what the feedback is. So they're not dumb. <laughs> like they're they're not dumb. They're getting it. They're getting that feedback, right? They you know they're not ignoring it, especially when it's getting like you know so much attention as in the social media. So again, I say all that to say that I'm glad that people are saying stuff. I'm glad that it's so outrageous to so many people over the world and the reason why i feel optimistic this time is because at least in my experience i've seen that hoyo has been willing to budge on some things that they i guess weren't willing to in the past or enough people brought it up to be an issue that they actually did something about it like the resin cap you know like in-game content like the abyss menu screen being able to change your characters and uh let's see what am i thinking of um what's the other big thing that really changed um um boss timer some other major thing that they changed too they're they're they they are willing to adjust on things and change and so that's why i'm i'm i'm, I'm holding my breath i hope that that is not uh, misplaced. Um, it's also gonna suck because maybe I'll get the Archon looking lady, but I don't think I'm gonna get any of those characters. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway. Um, can someone tell me why 90% of streamers in this game is 90% animated characters instead of showing themselves? I'm completely confused. Um, people really like, uh, People really like uh, models and um, and VTubing a lot. I think because it's like it's like the suspension from disbelief from real life. A lot of people play video games to be completely far removed from real life, and I think that um, VTubing models kind of lean into that a little bit more. Like the entire experience is surreal, and you know, kind of like a, in a in a in a fantasy setting that the VR tuber and the streamer deliberately like creates for the audience. And I think that some people really like that fantasy. Um, yeah, I, I think that's the reason why. And other people don't want to show their faces either. So that's, that, there's that too. There's, there's a, there's a, there's a demand for it. Like, I'm surprised. It honestly is really surprising to me when people say they want to escape in a world of video games. I get that, right? But people really want to escape, right? Like, and when I, when I, when I, when I say escape, like people really, they don't want anything that's like too real life adjacent in, in their video games sometimes. And I didn't know that, right? Like. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's why so many people have like the 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 wokeness problem in, in games because they they want to they want a god they, they, they want a, they want a, they want a god and I didn't know it was that serious. It's like oh my god, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> it's real fantasy. <laughs> Ooh, ethereals. Gameplay? Oh, 100%. I'm so down. Where the heck did these pests come from? I don't feel like fighting them. All these ethereals are making me feel like this. Uh. 
Um. 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 Thanks for your business. Thank you for your patience. Killed. It's no wonder you're able to walk around the building unhindered. But please, stop there. A wolf, Byron. The ballet twins are private property and are currently closed to visitors. I will allow you 30 seconds to explain your presence before I decide whether or not... Um... In short, this place is not currently open to the public, and I... I'm sure I have stressed. Both the floors and one's weapons should be kept in pristine condition, have I not? Sorry, Mr. Lycon. I'm really sorry. Mm, so tired. Ellen, stay on task. Professionalism. Coming. Huh? Corin? Is that you? Huh? Oh, it's Nicomata! Corin, do you know them? Yes, Mr. Lycon. They're the nice people who helped me out of Hollow that time. I see. Rina, for now, you may stand down. As you wish. Oh my god. When did you... <laughs> You're quite a perceptive young lady. You almost saw me. She means you were way off, way off, way off. If you aren't mere trespassers, that makes things easier. Allow me to introduce ourselves. We are Victoria Housekeeping. Oh, they kind of ate the introduction. Whoa, 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 that was very well done. Wait, <laughs> that, that was very, very, very well done. <laughs> wow, um, <laughs> that's good. That was good. That was really good. That, that honestly was... That was A plus for me. That was good. <laughs> that was really impressive. Wow, nice job. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was that's nice. Hey, Corey McCorey, and I never heard of them either. <laughs> You're being so blunt. You'll embarrass them. <laughs> what a considerate young lady. But there's no need. Victoria Housekeeping primarily serves a small number of. High net worth individuals in New Eridu, and does not aim for popularity amongst the general public. That sounds familiar. That's Clorin, huh? Yeah. I feel like we're being down on, but I can't think of a comeback. Everyone, please allow me to apologize on behalf of my companions. I am the head of Victoria Housekeeping, Von Lycon. Lycon, huh? been employed by the owners of the ballet twins to provide maintenance services here today the owners but i heard the valley brothers who built them went bankrupt ages ago 
You are correct. The ballet twins are indeed in a long-term state of foreclosure. The Lemony and Hollow's activity has waned as of late, and the city administration is interested in eliminating this sub-hollow here. My employer expects the building to appreciate in value, which is why he put down a deposit. I'm sorry. Okay, I might be just being furry about it, right? He's... He's actually exceptional. Wait, I... What? <laughs> Wait, he's actually good. Wait. What? I wasn't expecting that. Because because Ben's kind of doofy. I love Ben, right? But he's kind of doofy, right? Like, Ben, you know. You know, Ben, right? Like, it's Ben. But this is, this is kind of good. Wait, hold on, wait. <laughs> Like other than Corin, they've all figured out something is up. There is no need to be so wary. Victoria Housekeeping is duty bound to only our employers. We have no interest in unauthorized personnel within the Hollows, and not to mention, you help Corin. Moving forward, if you are willing to be truthful with us, we will do our utmost to assist. Then I'll be straight with you. I'm actually a proxy. I won't. <laughs> I mean, you know, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Slap. Sorry, hold on, let me get it. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> hold on, let me get it. <laughs> this is good fish. Wow. This is good fish. everyone to like it like please <laughs> oh god i really wish more people would talk about it i gotta post it on twitter Ugh. well lycan's actually a good character like i, I he's i mean he's kind of good so far wait well i didn't expect you to be the legendary proxy Faithen. and you're here to look for a missing friend have you come across anyone while working in the building lycan as much as we'd like to help you. The official carrot provided to us is outdated and is unable to give us an accurate picture of what's going on inside the building. Sorry to interrupt, Bell, but we've got a situation.
Is it just me, by the way? Is it, it's it, it's not just me, right? It it's 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 not just me. It's 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 not just me, right? Y'all see it? Do you see it? Cause I see it. It's kind of hard to not see it on his face. But do you see it? No, because you do you see it? I see it. Okay, come on. You see it, right? I'm not crazy. I promise you, I'm not crazy. <laughs> I keep seeing it. <laughs> Nicole just called. She says she didn't realize until she got to the landing pad that all members of the Cunning Herons were registered to take the stand. The court is requiring Billy and the others to attend. Mm. So, we gotta take the airship too? But what about helping the manager look for rain? I apologize for eavesdropping. But I have a proposition. What if the proxy works with us? The proxy is looking for someone, and our obsolete hollow data is hindering our work. I believe it would be to our mutual benefit to work together. Mm -mm. Well, if you're offering, then I'd be grateful for the help. It should be us thanking you. I am certain Victoria Housekeeping's work will go much more smoothly with your assistance. This fucking face. In any case, considering Phaethon's reputation, I'm certain our master would be pleased to make your acquaintance. For now, however, getting your friends out of the hollow seems to be the more pressing matter. We can head further into the building together after you finish your business. Okay, Lycan's better than I thought. Um, kind of, kind of stellar. Kind of sensational, if I'm being honest with you. Um, very good. Can I get my, can I get my, thank you, too. If you want Ellen, just go get her, come on. Yeah, come on, y'all, yeah, yeah, you, they, they're forcing you to do, y'all, if you, if you want, if you want Ellen, you can get an outlet, okay? Like, it, come on, like. Oh, please tell me you guys have been getting the the, the redemption codes, please. I, again, I, I keep saying this. I keep saying this, right? Like, please, if if you're not doing so, please redeem these codes. Please redeem these codes for the free polychromes. Like, just just get the stuff, right? Just get the free stuff. There's so much free stuff. Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> Like I'm begging you, just get the free stuff. I like Star Rail, Hawkeye Star Rail gave out two free fuels today, yesterday, right? Do you know how much value that is? That's like 135 uh, jades worth of value, okay? And they gave you two EXP books, and and weapon materials, okay? Purple weapon books, or whatever it's called, right? Weapon experience, like. Listen, like I was saying yesterday, I kind of I kept thinking I kept thinking about it, right? Like, we need to be that crazy coupon lady, all right? When it comes to these redemption codes and, and, and Star Rail Genshin and, and, and ZZZ, right? <laughs> like, we need to get on it. <laughs> Cause I'm wondering, like, if you were to be one of those people that like st stayed on it, I'm wondering how many how much free stuff you would get over a long period of time. Like, probably a lot. <laughs> and it only takes like 20 seconds to do, please. <laughs> the Duolingo code, right, for Genshin. Like, what's going on? <laughs> Like, all this free stuff? Please. I'm glad y'all are doing it then. My ADHD makes me forget codes exist. No, that's not good enough. <laughs> okay, what do we got? I caved and I bought the battle pass, but I don't know if that's really even caving. I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think it's caving. Yeah. Although I am still in a bit of a bind when it comes to picking out um, these weapons, because if I'm gonna be frank, I don't think really any of these are that good. Like I don't. I don't think. I don't think these are that good. <laughs> uh, like, okay. At least for my account, 
like this one gets crit rate substat, which is nice, right? And that might be the entire reason to get it over what I have currently on Ellen. So this one might be the one that I go for, especially with higher impo uh, impositions or super impositions or whatever. Maybe this one will be worth it, right? Just simply because of the crit rate substat. But, you know, obviously there's better options, especially if you're gonna break, break the investment into her. Maybe this one is probably the best. This one, this Daze, the stun one, isn't too bad, right? But the stun engines, I find, are actually really good, right? So using your battle pass weapon for this one doesn't seem like it's a good idea. Um, the lips might be the best one out of all of them, maybe, for anomaly characters. And an accessible option for anomaly characters, so maybe this one is actually worth it, but I don't have any anomaly characters. Uh, the support one, it's got a energy region, which is really nice, right? Um, for Nekomata, it's really not that great because she doesn't really need energy region like that, right? And passing crit rate is kind of good, so I could see a purpose for this, yeah? And then this defense one for Ben isn't awful either because it gives attack percent as a substat, which is kind of nice. Um, and then it gives an energy region passive. So that's really cool, especially if I like readily invest in the Ben, right? Being able to pass energy region while also giving your team crit rate isn't too shabby. Um, so this one might be worth two, but none of them really stand out as sensational stellar options right now. And that's the kind of the kind of the problem that I'm running into. So I don't know. Like maybe this one for Ben. But like, I'd rather have something that gives impact because and there are there are defense light cones, defense uh, weapons that give that give impact. So I maybe DPS Ben would appreciate something like this because the attack substat. But I, I don't know. Like, I, I, bleh, I genuinely don't know. Really, I got the battle pass because I want the I want these. But OK, anyway. Okay, so nobody's pointed this out. Um, nobody's pointed this out. So I'll point it out because I do it far too much. Ben can work at my store. Oh. Okay. Okay. Interview. Do I have any interviews now? Oh, thank God. All right, there we go. Okay. Fuck. Okay. So something that I noticed, it's become a habit now. It's become a habit now. Um, every time I get finished menuing, I always do this. I don't know what it is. I don't do that in Genshin. I don't do that in Star Rail. I just do it in this game. Every time I finish menuing, I just... I don't know why I do it. it it's, so it's something in this game just makes me just do this. I don't know what it is, but it's just, it's just this game. I guess I guess in my mind, I'm just like, where the fuck am I going? <laughs> this way. <laughs> I don't know where that comes from. Now you can have Ellen balance school life, maid duties, and managing the store. I'm not going to do that to her. I'm not going to do that to her. But it would be funny. A little bitterness can make life sweetness all the more satisfying. Yeah, but why can I not get these? Does anyone know when you unlock these? You know, coffee is not a must, but a calm and relaxed mindset sure is. Mm -hmm. She's got that renewal run. You're so right, actually. I didn't even pay attention to that. No. Oh well. I was reading a Reddit post, which is a mistake, but I was reading a Reddit post earlier and somebody was saying that they don't really like, that they don't really like the five star selector. You even finished all your broth. Want some more? They don't like, they don't like the, um, they don't like the five star selector and star or, uh, in, in, in this game. And 
<laughs> I guess what they were trying to say, but they just did it really poorly, was that getting to this 300 threshold is going to take so long that it's not going to matter or something. And like, I get it, right? But I don't really have like a, um, a reference point. So for those of you who played Star Rail, right? Have you gotten your three star or your five star freeze selector? Like, have you gotten your Himiko or your, your, I guess everyone in this case, for the most part has gotten Branya. So have you gotten your Branya? Like, did you guys get it? And if so, how long did it take for you to get it? I'm gonna get out of the way there. I got Branya. I got Welt. I wish I chose Welt instead. It takes about a year, but this game should be faster. I mean, yeah, at this point, because how long, how much do we have? Like, hold on, let me take a look. 115? Like, what the fuck? 115 wishes? Standard wishes that we're getting from. Okay, because you know I wouldn't pay for these. Like, I, you know, come on. Like, I would have, please. How do we, like, uh, from updating your characters and from what they give you and all that stuff? Like, come on. <laughs> like, that's insane. You're a third of the way there already. And the game just came out a week ago. What? Or, like, what? Less than a week? No, a little bit more. A little bit over a week ago. Yeah. Yeah. Star Rail didn't keep ba pity from the beginner banner. Ooh, that's nasty. Ooh, that's nasty. Ooh. Not to hate on Star Rail because I, you know, I don't hate it, right? But if I'm going to be completely honest with you, that game takes a lot of self control because I just think it's really gross. I just, I just think that game is what's the word? Um, it, it's good, but they, it's like they dangle a lot of meat in front of you. You know, I, it's like you gotta. It, it, I guess it feels like with all these Pinnacony characters since I started playing this and the, started playing this game, like you really want Robin because of the action advance, and you really want to have Black Swan for Kafka, and people really want a Kafka, and I guess Boohoo was around, you know, and you really want to have um, fucking uh, Firefly because she's really good, but then she runs with Ron May. Uh, then you want Ron May's weapon because there's not a lot of options for brick effect and uh, and like it, it, it just feels like there's a lot of good stuff constantly without a break. <laughs> um, so I'm like, how do you save? I mean, you could just be content, right? But I guess it just feels like, and, you know, that's FOMO. And I guess what Star Wars kind of gets on my nerves a little bit in that, like, man, y'all keep releasing some good ass shit constantly and no four stars. It's it, it's um, it's almost like Siege Win is 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 refreshing in a sense. It's almost like Siege Win is refreshing because you definitely don't need Siege Win. And if you already have Farina because it's the Archon, you could have very easily skipped the banner, and that's kind of refreshing. That's kind of nice, right? If you don't care about Emily because you already have Nahida as an off-field Dendro applicator, you don't really need the damage like that, and you don't want to have a whole new archetype, and most people already have Navia, or you don't like Geo. So it's very easy to skip the Navia banner, too. The Yelan one will arguably be quite difficult. Um, oh, sorry. I was talking about Nilo. My bad. Nilo and... My bad. I'm so sorry about that. My bad. Um... Nilo and, and Navia, I think, you know, one's Geo, but doesn't necessarily require Geo team. And, you know, if you, but most people should already have her if they really liked her, right? And then Nilo hasn't run for a while, so I can imagine people really wanting her. But I think that she's a, a pretty reasonable skip, too. I think the Yolan banner is going to be kind of hard to skip out on Yolan because she's so good, especially going into a new region. Um, but I guess what I, what I think about Genshin banners. I think they are much easier to skip and not feel bad about. Whereas Star Rail, it, I don't know if it's me being crazy or what, but it just feels like you really don't want to miss out on getting your Firefly because she's really broken. Uh, 
Ooh, she's got weakness breaking plan. Ooh, right? Like, ooh, you don't want to miss out on Ron May, right? She's so good. She's the best support in the game. She works with every team. Ooh. Robin, action demand. Ooh. But what? What about the Topaz, right? Everyone has a free ratio, right? Who's ratio's best partner? It's Topaz. Ooh. Topaz applies debuffs for ratio. Uh. <laughs> Robin benefits follow up attacks. <laughs> Don't you want Topaz? <laughs> Don't you want Topaz and Robin? You know what I mean? Like. Ugh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you know, it'd be. Because it would have been, been a little bit different, right? It would have been different if it was like Robin and, say, Blade, right? You know what I mean? Because it's two different archetypes. And if I really cared about follow up attacks, then I would get Robin and I'm not really missing out on like not having blade. You know what I mean? Right? Does that make sense? You know, <laughs> or like Argenti or something, you know, cause you know, you got two different archetypes. You, can... so, you see what I mean? When you put two characters that m mutually benefit each other on the same banner or like work in a similar team composition, and that's when you t and that's when you choose to rerun them. That's so like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 nasty. You're, you know what you're doing. Mm, mm, mm. You should be. They should be ashamed. Oh, they should be ashamed of that nasty behavior. How, how could you? <laughs> Ron May and Firefly. Is is just is just out of this world? <laughs> How could they do that? <laughs> mm. And Gallagher. Mm. Mm. Well, I hope I'm hoping to be able to like thoroughly save during this Shienzo phase, and I'm glad March is free because I'm about sick of this, especially as a new player, like established players. I'm not sure how rough it is for y'all, right? Being established already. And you've already had the chance to get some of these characters before their reruns, right? So maybe it doesn't feel as bad, but for me, like I've been watching content up the ass and talking to you guys in Star Rail chat and Discord so much. I've been trying to learn so much about these characters and the game and pull value and all the things because it, there's just so much. <laughs> there's just there's so much stuff that are dangling in front of me. <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel like I have to do some research. Oh, am I not allowed to go this way? Oh, what? It's weird. It's off. Hmm. What the fuck? What am I dumb? Can I not go this way? Oh, I guess I'm not. Okay. Okay. Not this, sweetie. Hold on. Let me get a good, let me get a good flattering shot. What, don't, look at, don't, look, don't look at me like that. Wait. I needed to sustain pretty bad. And someone for Acheron. Um. Gosh, like. <laughs> Yeah, 
You know the worst thing? You know the worst thing that I kind of feel bad about? Like, that I that I feel minorly bad about? I didn't need Fu Shuan. Yeah, okay. I, Fu, Fu Shuan's not a bad pool. She's not, right? Like, she's not. Especially for my account, right? Like, who, who, else, who else is my tank supposed to be on my ratio team, right? But boy, man, if only I started playing when Adventuring was out. Ugh. Fuck. Like, fuck, man. Fuck. Because <laughs> Fushua's not bad. She's really not. She's really good. She's really good. But you know what I really want? <laughs> but you know what I really need? Not need, but you know what it's really preferred on an account like mine, right? Like, or like on a team like mine with Robin? Uh. On my follow-up team, mm. <laughs> like ugh. whatever, it's fine. Which is so weird because she's so good, right? But whatever, it's fine. I'll just take my food. Mm. I'm just happy that it, I'm that I'm not in a. Uh, Sparkle, Robin, Ron May situation. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm not in a Sparkle, Robin, Ron May situation. Um, like people who have all three, or people who have Sparkle, Ron May, and had to choose not to get Robin, or people who have Sparkle, Ron May, or Sparkle, Sparkle, Robin, and not Ron May. <laughs> Um, because it seems like the best combination of those three, I guess it depends on your DPS because there's some people who really want Sparkles SP, right? But, um, seems like the best combination from what I'm seeing is Rame, Robin, Branya, and it pretty much covers all bases. Not having Rame seems like grief. So if you have Robin and Sparkle, and no Ron May. <laughs> I'm one of those people with Sparkle Ron May. I wouldn't feel too bad about having Sparkle Ron May. I think Sparkle Ron May is great. But I think I think you need I think you need not need, but I think out of those I think out of those three, you probably would want Ron May the most. And then a toss up between Sparkle and Robin. And then Branya. I just staying in too. <laughs> but it feels like every account wants Ron May, right? I think skipping Robin is probably fine. Yeah, I think skipping Robin is not the worst thing in the world. Yeah. Yeah. If I could, res if I could replace Sparkle with Robin, I would, but I can't wail. I guess it also depends on your account too. Because if you're not using follow-up attacks, you just kind of don't, you just, you just, you know. <laughs> and you don't have to hear the singing. There's that too. There is that too. But then you also don't have to hear Sparkle being mean as fuck to you. I was, I was playing Sparkle in the, in the, in the, in that one mode, in the event or whatever. And she's just being a fucking asshole to me. And I'm like, what do you, like... Like, I'm trying to decide what to do, and she's like, you have 10 seconds to pick. And I'm like, who are you talking to? Can I read the kit? Like, can I read the skills? Like, damn. <laughs> Sorry. She is pretty, I will say. <laughs> do you know the answer? No, I don't know the answer, because every time I try to look up something, you rush me. <laughs> no, I don't know the answer. Anyway. Don't move. Huh? <laughs> See, either I have to deal with Robin yapping all day, or I gotta deal with Sparkle being a, being an ass to me. Pick your poison, I guess. <laughs> they can't be normal, like Ron May. Speaking about uh, just existential nonsense, right?
And that's why we love Ron Mother. Oh yeah, Ron May, all you have to deal with is <sighs> existence, <sighs> life, <sighs> oh well, <sighs> whatever, I'll be swept away in a wind. <sighs> <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> Where's it at? Hold on. Where, where is? Where, where, where is, where it, where's the, hold on. Here it is. Here it is, here it is. Here, here's, here, hold on. This is Ron May. My birthday's coming up. Bro! Um, and you just had to say that right now. Well, I'm saying my birthday's in two weeks. So you interrupted my birthday song to say that. Well, I, I mean, I, I just thought people should know. I mean, we're the same sign and everything. I just feel like I should tell everybody. Dude, oh, well, man, thanks, bro. bro. Thanks. Great. Dude, that's what I was going to do. I, I was going to do that, and then I came back and... and <sighs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, this crazy thing happened at work. Everybody <laughs> blowing my phone up right now, man. Just really long story. Long story. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, a, a good story though, a really good story though. <laughs> All right, bro, that's that's cool. I bet it is. Congrats to the newlyweds, two of my absolute favorite people in the world. Yes. Yeah. Wow. You, you know, I just I wanted to take this time to um, announce that I'm getting married. All will be swept well. away in the wind. <laughs> I'm officially tired of this guy. All right, so it'll be uh, an island wedding. I know this wedding was modest, a little church wedding, but. It'll be an island wedding, so everybody get excited for that. Dude, is something wrong with you? You are just a class act, huh? <laughs> Every pedal in life, guarding. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Back to this, back to this. Okay, where am I going? Okay. <laughs> she is dramatic. I do love her too. I make fun of her, but, but. <laughs> I, make, I make fun of her, but like, yeah. And honestly, c considering what she did in an interlude, right? What she did to me in an interlude, making us eat like tainted like food it's what she gets honestly mm. she's fun you know yeah she is <laughs> hello ellen Um, I love that one. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Corin. It's okay, Corin. You can make as many mistakes as you want. You got people like Puffy who will, who is you ride or die. I really am full of shit, aren't I? Like, why am I why am I shit talking somebody who uses 
<laughs> shit like somebody uses corn when i came into this game using lisa <laughs> and i still want to fucking <laughs> like <sighs> lisa's strongest soldier like please <laughs> good thing help me wait <laughs> I like Rena. She's actually kind of neat. How are things, Bell? Have you met up with Victoria Housekeeping yet? Yeah, don't worry. I met up with everyone, and even fixed up Eos. Sounds like you're getting along fine with everyone. That's good. We need to find Rain as soon as possible. You should hurry back and get ready for the Hollow. On my way. Ugh, fine. I can't... What? I can't fast travel home? Wait, that's weird. Is something happened in my house? And the, the others are so slow. If they mess up now, the media will sensationalize it. Ah, they're coming out. They're coming out. Ladies and gentlemen, moments ago, the defendant in this case, Charles Perlman, arrived at the helipad escorted by authorities. Where is... Is Eternal Link still in chat? No, he's not. Okay. That gay ass. That gay ass. T t talk Eternal Link wants this. I again, like, what's what's going on? What, what What's going on? What, 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 what... This. Huh? <laughs> What's I don't I don't listen. I'm with eternal with a lot of things, right? I get it, right? I, I get it, you know. I understand, right? But I have to ask, like, what's going on? Like, what's going? Oh, if, if, if you're watching the vod, sweetie, I'm never gonna let that go. Doug Dimmodome? Like, huh? What is what? what? Like, I I don't like Wario cosplay. Like, I don't understand. Like, what 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 is this? Uh, I don't. I, I mm. again, like, f what's his name again from um, Gravity Falls? What's his name? <laughs> what? Bo a bowling ball, Delve? Gideon? Yeah, yeah, Gideon. Like, what? I don't. <laughs> bowling pin? <laughs> what? What are, we, what are we doing here? Like, I don't. I don't. Shockingly, despite the crimes he's being charged with, Perlman shows no signs of being worried. <laughs> Fools. A real surprise is yet to come. I accept your request. I'll put the instructions in your suitcase for the day you board. Open it two hours after takeoff. Do what the instructions say, and someone will help you get out of New Eridu. Hey, where's my suit for court? Did the suitcase come? It's right here. Good, bring it over. What are you so smug about? It's about to hit the fan, Pearlman. Hit the fan? <laughs> Young lady, you've no idea how horrible this city can get. Yeah, uh, sweetheart, there's a giant fucking black hole dimension in the, in the middle of it. I think we're good. <laughs> uh, I, I, th I think we understand. Like, I, I, I think the giant chasm in the middle of the city with monsters in it. I, I think we're fine. <laughs> Just you wait. Whatever tricks you have up your sleeve, I'll make sure you get what's coming to you. Boss. Great. You guys finally made it. <sighs> I'm beat. You were running for so long. How come you look fine, Billy? He's a robot. <laughs> The respiratory module I swapped out a few days ago has an anaerobic mode installed. 
It boosts energy efficiency during workouts. Hmm? Oh no. I can't switch back to intake mode! I told you not to use that cheap black market junk. All right, cut it out. Does it really matter if Billy can't breathe? The airship is small anyway, and the air quality isn't great. What's wrong, Andy? Something bothering you? Yeah, our friend can't breathe. What? I was just thinking. We left Faith into a group of strangers from a housekeeping company. Is that really okay? Nikomat a new one of them, right? And besides, the ballet twins belongs to their master, so the proxy shouldn't be in any danger. That's not it. I'm concerned once the proxy works with another squad, they'll notice a significant difference in the quality of service and won't want to work with us again. Oh, sweet. Aw, oh, what do you mean? Oh, I love you guys. No, I would never do that. But don't be silly, Ambie. The cutting hairs are first class, I'll have you know. Right. Besides, we have a relationship with Faithen. Those guys, they're completely new. Nothing to worry about. They're not going to be at odds with each other, are they? Proxy, you there? Yeah, sweetie, what's up? I want to apologize. I'm really sorry for earlier today. I agreed to look for rain with you, but ended up leaving it to somebody else. I suddenly realized we've known each other for so long, and although there have been ups and downs, it's been a pleasure working with you. Oh, thank you. All right, now where am I going? Oh. Uh, I don't want to talk to Wise yet. What I want to do is go on my phone. Hey, you busy? Fuck. I'm busy. Okay. Why am I talking to Wise? Why didn't I just go to the computer? <laughs> what? Oh, this would be a fantastic opportunity to use her. Um. Oh, okay. Fine. But I do not like this team setup. Oh my god. Support should definitely be second. Why would the DPS be in the middle? Huh? That's awful? What? Master Proxy, since your friend was most likely on the rooftop of Tower B, perhaps that should be our first destination? Yeah. 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 Check Discord. Somebody edited his face. They're kidding. No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh boy.
Sounds good, Lycon. Thank you for your help. You are quite welcome. You are our most important guest, and your wish is our command. I do hope we can find Miss Rain soon so you and your friends can rest easy. Dear guide, would you be so kind as to look at this map of the ballet twins? Hmm. As you can see, we are currently located at the entrance to Tower A, according to our carrot. We'll have to go through the central corridor between the two to get to the other building. Affirmative. The information provided by the agent is accurate. This should be your target location. Keep it up, Fairy. We don't have enough holo data right now, but let's show Victoria Housekeeping we're professionals. Please have faith in my abilities. I will not tarnish the reputation of the legendary proxy. Entry into Tower A of the Ballet Twins confirmed. This place still creeps me out, even though I've been here before. What happened? Based on our past experiences, let's start heading toward the lights. Has it been good like this the let's whole time? Going, Master Proxy. Has it been has it been good like this the whole time? Because what it what it's feeling like is it's gotten past the introductory bullshit and all the fucking million jillion thousand to fucking million tutorials, right? And everything is like much more intentional and much more deliberate, and not wasting my goddamn time. <laughs> so. I don't know. It's it, it's it's feeling it's feeling better. So these guys are here again. Remain calm. Let's continue heading towards the lights. I fucked up. Let's try to keep our distance. Let's try to keep our distance. We're getting close, Master Proxy. Light's not the brightest. God damn it, laughing. Still drove them away. It's safe to proceed now. Funny how this makes the TV part more interesting too, huh? What's up ahead? It appears we've reached the heart of Tower A. You must pass through this door to enter the atrium. The area at the back used to be accessible only to VIPs. We should look around for the verification device to open the door. Is this the verification device? There's one, okay. Why can't they just have one? This sounds like Sonic music. The switch is on the other side. Let's not waste our energy here. My my creativity is kind of cooking. This is annoying. Let's try to keep our distance. With this music, I'm kind of cooking something up. I'm kind of cooking something up. I'm 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 thinking. I know the song sounds familiar. 
switch is on the other side. Let's not waste our energy here. I know there's something that sounds similar to this. It'll come to me later. But some something about this song, something about this little this little motif. I, I don't know. It's, it's it's it sounds like I heard it somewhere. She's having so much fun. I kind of like her. Wait, <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't use her at this point. Well, actually, maybe. Well, huh? why is the light flickering all of a sudden? Like, why did I kombucha girl that? Hold on. <laughs> what? What? I? What? I? What? I? It really smells like a public restroom. <laughs> you know what? No. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't too bad. Wait, it, it was like you know, I was like, oh, wait, 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 okay, I, 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 I kind of get it. What a pain! We can finally open the door. It feels like rich people enjoy making things complicated. Hmm, precisely why I find this job exhausting. I love her. <laughs> it's them again. Bell, hang in there. We're getting close. Watch out, everyone. Master, security system access interface detected. Please wait. Connection at 30%. Synchronizing infrared camera view. Connection at 60% for starting camera flash. The camera flash? No wonder they disappeared. Fairy, speed it up. Connection at 100%. System takeover completed. I can see everything now since we have that infrared camera. Master, you can call this new feature night vision mode. In this mode, you can move your field of view via the camera. While you're moving, the camera flash can keep enemies at bay. You're a godsend, fairy. Bell, try moving around. 
They're gone. This feature sure is handy. Another door? Let's go investigate. Master Proxy, judging by this guest's body language, it has no ill intent. It wants to thank us for bringing peace to this area. Looks like our judgment was correct. It's smooth sailing now. Loading night vision mode return program. Progress, 99%. 100%. Loading complete. Let's return to EOS for now. We can reconnect anytime with... What's my clocky statue level? Oh, that shit's been maxed out for like three weeks. Turn back on. Valve status analyzed. The valve open. The lock is not sufficient gear coins paid. Authentication successful. Opening valve. So I know that Rena increases pen. Is it just shock and pen? Is that what she provides? God, I hate Avoid this team's ordering, by the way. Don't worry, Cohen. She's only giving verbal warnings. You won't deduct your salary. Oh, are you that? Not what I'm concerned about. Increases shock duration, huh? Okay. As you will. Say no more. Please. <sighs> you've done well, Cole. Wait, wait, Hydro Traveler, wait. <laughs> What'd she say? Wait a minute, Lisa? Position. 
Bell, why don't you and the others rest a bit while I calculate the next route? Uh oh. Is it just me, or have the lights been flickering a lot on our way over? Oh, is that so? <laughs> it's happened a few times. Looks like the rumors might be true. The rumors? What rumors? Hmm? What rumors? No, I'm new here. Alan. What? Was I not supposed to say anything? Class's mission brief was so long I didn't read it. So whatever. Rena's here anyway. If the proxy finds out anything, she'll take care of it. Um Take care of it. Uh what's that mean? Ellen Coleman. Keep talking like that and you're going to give people the wrong idea about Victoria House. Thing. Dear guide, allow me to clarify. Are you familiar with the supernatural rumors regarding the ballet twins? This whole game is supernatural. What do you mean? No, I don't think I have. I don't think I have. The story goes like this. When the ballet twins' buildings were swallowed up by the hollow, a pair of famous dancers, two sisters, died here. Rumor has it that the sisters became the masters of the building and would warn visitors with flickering lights. Now... If those visitors still refuse to leave, the sisters cause a blackout and show up in the darkness to harvest the souls of their visitors. It's an old story, but recently someone claimed to have experienced some similar phenomena in the building. Our master believed letting the rumors spread would inevitably affect the value of the ballet twins. So we were commissioned to investigate the truth under the guise of maintaining the building. Uh... So that's the real reason you're here. Originally, we believed the rumors to be the fabrications of troublemakers. But at the very least, it appears power outages do indeed occur. But a power outage could pose a problem. Tower B's atrium is fitted with automated fire-resistant partitions. Power failure causes them to instantly close. Since finding this rain is our priority, to avoid having our route cut off, we should speed things up. Using night vision mode. Well, that's what I was gonna do if you stop fucking yapping. Stop talking to me. There's lights on the path nearby. We can see more clearly here. But the atrium is still some distance away. Will the lights here manage to last until then? A power outage would make this a huge pain. We better hurry. Yeah, yeah, why? We better hurry. The lights are. Hang in there. We'll reach the atrium soon. Try using night vision mode. Like the flickering's getting worse. We're in the final stretch now, Master Proxy. Okay, all right. Well, this is it's getting kind of good. Wait, hold on. Wait. We are approaching the atrium. Let's get this over with quickly. Oh. 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 
Honestly? Kindly fall into despair. Oh, that's annoying. Where is it? Oh. are flickering faster. Let's hurry, everyone. Right. You can rely on us to protect you. This way, please. <laughs> this fucking bang boo. Oh, is that the plot of this game? Now, dear. This little... <laughs> The Phaethon does all the work and uh, yeah, and the agents protect them. Oh, wait, I kind of get it now. Oh my, are you hurt? Almost there. The atrium is just ahead. Not good. Oh. Unfortunately, we are a step too late. The automated partition has completely closed. Oh no, we were so close to getting through. Corin, it's a maid's duty to help our guests. You shouldn't look so upset. Uh. Any bright ideas on how to open the door, gang? There may be a manual switch installed on the partition. One moment, please. Allow me to take a look. No need to bother, Rena. It's pretty solid metal, but it shouldn't be a problem for me and Corin to make a hole. Sounds easy enough. But isn't the building your employer's property? Is that really a good idea? Huh. I didn't expect you to be such a rule-abiding proxy. Master's concern was about the rumor. Besides, who's gonna find out? Reminder, it would be prudent not to cause any structural damage. As the only structure connecting the two buildings, the atrium is in a highly unstable state due to the hollow. Any sizable blow could lead to localized structural changes. After some investigating, I have located the switch on the other side of the corridor. It appears we currently lack the means to get through. I suggest we withdraw and take some time to rest. Victoria Housekeeping will investigate the cause of the blackout, and we will surely find a way through. GG's! What? No! I was get Wait, I was kind of getting into it! Hey, fuck this. This is kind of good. Wait, hold on. See, don't let it be good, because then that's going to make me, like, not be able to play off stream. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Stop. No. <laughs> okay. Right, that bang boo, that's me. 
Right, okay. All right, okay, okay, I see what's going on. It's been in my room. Agent story has been reported. Kaleda? Huh? Okay. Thanks. I should check out the stuff on the videotape shells or level up my account, like why suggested. Are you serious? <laughs> Ma giggle, please. Are you serious? I, uh, <laughs> like what? Oh, okay game. Uh, Okay, sure. What fucking ever? Hmm, where do I want to go? Um... The gadget store? Schrodinger's bear. Is it time? On my way. If I'm, <laughs> am I pulling? <laughs> yeah, you are. If I pull 10 times on this machine and then 10 times on that one, the mathematical probability of getting the doll that president wants is going to be, wait, not this. Monkey top. Oh no. A lucky bonus. One scratch card voucher and one handshake voucher from the owner of the newsstand. I have decided to quit the surprise box business. Oh my God, poor thing. Oh, Ben. It's okay, sweetie. I'll get you a constellation. What is fire? Oh. Am I even allowed to hang out with her? Meet up Nicole in the afternoon. Oh, okay, cool. I thought she was busy, but okay, I'll take it. Um, How about a cup of joe? A little bitterness can make life sweetness all the more satisfying. 
support components support do these change every day oh they have to no that'd be so interesting if they did wait do the copies change every day hold on z z z coffees copy schedule Ooh. Let's take a look, see. Hmm. Have a simulation. Okay. So it looks like on Sunday, all the copies are available. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. And it looks like some only appear once a week. Oh, thanks for the follow, by the way. That's so sweet. Um, some of them appear twice per week. And then all of them appear on Sunday. Interesting. Gosh, there's only one that's available on Saturday. Oh my god. Okay, and today is what? Technically is Saturday. So it should be the black tea latte? Oh no. Or is today Friday in game? Interesting. Well, I guess today is support day. Um, support certification seal, or should I get support component? Um, or should I spend this time on Anton stuff? Uh, probably should invest in my DPSs, yeah. This is insane, by the way. Sometimes, Giving you 63 play, resin you a day. I don't know why they, I don't even know why that's a thing. It, it feels like when, when resin is a limiting factor in these gacha games, that's such an interesting allotment. You know what I mean? That they, that they just give you. It's on, it's really surprising, honestly. I, I, I it, 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 that it exists. Time for some tail care. I need this character. Touch my tail. And and now. Okay, so I leveled up her relevant skills, right? Uh, I guess I could work on getting more of these. But then again, Anton is kind of a piece of shit right now. But he's he's somewhat leveled up too. So what can I do here? Um. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hmm. Maybe I should. What level is he? Is he forty already? It's our turn, bro. Okay. Well. Trying to figure out who I should invest in. I don't think I'd regret. I don't think I would regret Nicole, honestly, because the, yeah, Nicole has defense shred, right? Yeah, Nicole has defense shred, so that's not the end of the world. I can honestly work on Lycan too. That would increase my damage, but it's not really about damage that I really care about, right? From him, it's it's impact. And so if I'm done with Ellen. No, it's her weapon. It's her weapon, I think. Yes, I need to work on this, right? Because I can enhance this more. Yes, that's what it is. Is 
It's only a perceived allotment. If you don't use your stamina and then use extra, you lose it. Hmm, interesting. I really would rather not farm these, but whatever. Please give me a vortex stack, please. There it is. Let's go with that way I can go correct nice incorrect nice I don't know I know it's a marketing tactic but I think it works for this game makes it feel even less like a typical gotcha than it already does do you mean like do you mean the battery thing the coffee thing because i'm telling you right now if i had 60 free resin a day in genshin and in star rail especially genshin oh my gosh that would be so transformative for my accounts <laughs> i'd be able to build so many more characters i guess what i'm thinking is like the right the the normal amount of resin per week and each game assuming hold on let me see hold on let me let me let me let me do some calculations here how much resin per day in hsr or how much fuel per day let's take a look um Let's see, fuel, fuel, trailblaze power. How much trailblaze power do you get in a day? So one point every six minutes, right? Okay. That can recover 24 hours daily. 10 per hour. Okay, 10 per hour, 24 hours. Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So let's think about this. So 240 times 7 equals 1,680 per week, right? So if I were to add 60 per day, so that's 60 times 7, that's an additional 420 per week from using your coffee. So that means 420 plus uh so 1680 equals 2100 if i'm not correct if i'm not mistaken right yeah so you get 2100 resin per week um um see because the thing that i'm not sure of is okay is that like is raising your characters in this game like relative to that like is it harder to build characters in this game because if so well, then that doesn't matter. The, the number doesn't even matter that much, right? But if it's about the same amount of resources to build the characters as it is in a game like Star Rail, because I think you have to be the direct comparison, right? Then that's really good. <laughs> that's actually really good. The resident economy is just telling us that they want us to build a lot of units. That is something that somebody said. Somebody said that because the... Shiyu Defense has those specific elements that it incentivizes you to want to build for the... Ooh, fuck. I'll have to do that later. 
um, that it really wants you to build. I'm assuming that's going to mean, like you're saying, that we're going to have to build maybe a team for each element. Maybe that's why that we have the bamboo, the bangboo picker as well, because over time we'll be able to like build more and more and more and more teams. So, yeah, I'm not sure if just two teams would be enough, which is fine because I think that just means that you have to farm like maybe how many artifact sets? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then maybe four more. So twelve artifacts maybe. Um that you can mix and match between your DPS's um, supports and your stun characters, because stuns should be relatively consistent. God, I hope they don't have like individual, like individualized uh, disc drives at some point, because it's going to be really fucking annoying if they do that. <laughs> anyway. Mm. Let's get this leveled up, even though I definitely think the battle pass weapon is better. I'm it's probably fine. This is a lot of direct power. I probably should upgrade it, yeah. Okay, that's nice. That should be a lot of power for her, so that's nice. A lot of base attack. Uh, this is maxed out, which is fascinating. What? It's a lot of power for him, too. Or no, that's... Is it maxed out? No, it's only 30. Okay. It's a really good weapon for him, too. Um, okay. I don't want to farm artifacts. Am I level 35 yet? Or am I 34? Okay, I think 35 is when something happens. And I think it drops some proof, I think. But I'm not sure exactly when that is. To be frank, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do now. Like, how many quests are available to me? Oh boy. Okay. Oh, you're so right. You do get the teapot resident Genshin. You you're so right. Okay, I'll do one more quest and then I'll call it for the night. Mm -mm -mm. Hi Cole. Mm -mm -mm. Nice. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yay. Nice. Talk to Nicole again? Oh, okay. So then where are the, where are the quests? Is Anton here? ZZT with present reserve would be very nice. It feels like the payoff. I don't know what it is, right? Can I just get a Hoyo game that has 240 resin that replenishes at six per minute with a resin reserve and a copy shop or some sort of system that gives me 60 a day? Is it that hard? Can we just combine the three, please? Please, like, please. And also using resin that can be that completes commissions, please. Can we just combine the systems? And also on the launcher, can we just collect all the welkins at once, please, please? They want you to play the games. Now! You're the vending machine. Mm, mm, 
I feel like I'm playing and smoking crack playing three gacha games at once right now. I feel the same way too. I feel like I'm being so grossly irresponsible. Ugh. Okay, good. On the contrary, the more gacha games I play, the closer I get to being free from gacha forever. Uh, I don't know if that's how that works. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's exactly the formula. I could be wrong. Where are the blue? Where are the quests? Excuse me? What? What? Okay, yes, the content part doesn't make me feel as bad. You're so right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it wasn't for the content part, ooh. <laughs> okay, um, what? You need to explore, do stuff in Hollow. There's no, there's no. At this point, you really need to do everything available to you to get the level 36. Everything? Cause these things don't even give you the hard ones. Let me find these. The hard ones don't even give you They don't even give you, ugh. This game is so funny. What, what, where am I supposed to, uh, am I supposed to use my batteries? Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Maybe you're supposed to use your batteries to. Oh, please. Yeah, story quests in hard mode don't give you, don't give you, uh, AR, they don't give you, they don't give you, they don't give you experience points. They just give you polychromes. The Mew Mew quests and Hollow Zero area give you EXP. Hollow Zero area? Oh, you're so right. Oh my God, I keep forgetting about these. Yeah, I, I, I keep forgetting about these. Yes, I gotta do these. Yeah, 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 you're so right. No, you are you are 100% right. Yes, this is the answer. Yeah, Soldier 11s and Nekamadas and uh, who's this is? What? Okay, and Graces. Okay, and Kaleidas. Okay, and then I get Lycans later. And then what is this? Rena's? Neat. Okay, cool. So do these. That's the other thing to do. Neat. Okay. Thank you. Good suggestion. I forgot about these. Um, sure. How are we the same level? Because you skipped all that shit? Because I've done every quest! Because <laughs> I've done every single quest available to me. Um, Soldier 11. I mean, honestly, I'll finish it. Why not? Average enemy level of 15. Oh, boy. Where am I going? Okay. The operation is tonight. The spy has arranged a meeting between me and the rebel leader. I just need you to get me to the designated location. Uh, okay. Got it. So you're ready to close the net? That doesn't concern civilians. 
The Defense Force has dispatched their elite. The Rebels cannot be allowed to escape. We mustn't delay. Let's move out. And well done. Why? What did I do? You aren't late. Aww. He smiled. Does me being on time make you that happy? Does that surprise you? Lots of things make me smile. Combat merits, promotions, the blood of traitors, extra spicy noodles, and comrades I can work with for a long time. I look forward to working with you again, Crimson Twilight. But do not betray my trust, or your punishment will be by my own hand. Mm-hmm. Soldier 11 is so... Um, jeez, what's the word? Jeez! I get it, it's business. I think what's cool and flashy about her is her kit. The character? Yes, I get it, like... G.I. Joe, okay, I, I, okay, fine. Okay. <laughs> I do like her, though. Awaiting further. How can I help? Um, and then. So, Kaku, ready. Is this a team? I think it is. Kind of, yeah. It's a team. Let's hurry. I want to be back by dinner. No bang boo. Okay. Literally, she wasn't my DPS auction that I accidentally got. I'd never use or pick her. Okay, but she is fun. I think as a DPS, I think her gameplay is fun. I think the character itself, I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah. rendezvous with the traitor is just ahead. Thankfully with Ellen, thankfully, thankfully getting Ellen, the originals are okay. The shark thing is okay. I kind of just love how apathetic she is, honestly. So that kind of keeps me like going with her. Like, I love how apathetic Ellen is. Oh my god. <laughs> She's like, okay, can I go home? <laughs> it's such a mood. I love her. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Warning unknown threat detected. I got Kaleida. Did you change your game? To non English ASAP. Stay alert, Mr. Mole. Faithen has guided me to the meeting place, but you're and there are soldiers everywhere. What's going on? Uh oh, oh my god, Sola, is that you? Are the others better? Um, it's not that Kaleida is bad. I think she's a very serviceable option as a as a stun character. And honestly, you know, you can make anything work, right? You need a stun agent for every team. And because you already have Ambi, you'll be able to have a stun for one side and you will be able to have a stun for the other. It's just that Bellabog is kind of wonky right now. Um, because their best DPS option, their best DPS options are, are, are kind of weird. Because you'll want either Grace or Anton, but Grace and Anton work really well together. But you only have one five star, so it's like, huh? So if you were if you were to make a team with Coleta that takes advantage of Bellabog, you would use Anton, Coleta, and you would use Rena as your electric support. And that would kind of work. And there's this weird thing with Kaleida where she synergizes with Ben, but then you would be effectively having two stun characters because Ben provides a lot of days and his supporting capacity is weird because he does give you crit rate, which is really nice. And he gives you kind of like a worthless shield that doesn't like do anything because you shouldn't be getting hit anyway. 
and 12 because uh, 12 percent crit rate is a lot and maybe it's just, it's just contingent on the, the engines that he uses it's just that like he's not like a full-on support and he's not a full-on stun and so you'd rather have somebody who's dedicated to either one of those things so running him with Coleta is just it's just weird <laughs> and i don't like it um so i don't know it it at the end of the day so long as your team has dps stun support you'll be good to go and depending on the five star you get it'll dictate the direction you go in right pretty much everybody will have and be on their other side unless they want to use ben right most people who have ellen may have gotten lucky and got soldier 11 or grace or who's the other one Nekomata is their DPSs. So that's kind of fortunate because they don't have to worry about using one of the four stars because your four star options for DPSs are Billy, Corrin, and Anton. Anton's weird because he needs five stars <laughs> for his best teams. And then Nekomata and Corrin are also weird because there's no physical support that greatly benefits them. So it's it's kind of weird. I don't know, but you can make it all work. That's the thing that you, you, you can make it work like it's so early right now. You can make it all work. You you, you, can, you can make it all work. I, it, you know, no matter no matter the which one you get. I think I really lucked out getting Lycan. I think I really, really lucked out getting Lycan. Like really lucked out. Um, because that leaves Ben or Ambi on the other side and can allow me to full-on commit to getting Ellen with all the free pulls and not have to worry about, like, that side. Like, that side is pretty much done. It's my other side now that I'm concerned about because I don't have... Excuse me. <clears throat> I don't have one of the limited uh, five-star DPSs, and it feels weird building a team with Anton without Rena, and I don't want to build Corrin, so I don't. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> you dare take advantage of my admiration for faith and with this imposter? Who's my DPS? Oh, it's Ellen and Anton right now. Ooh. Calm down, Mr. Mole. I don't know what you're talking about. It's more that she can feel awkward to play, and that there's a clearly a better star star style. And more will come out. I think, I think, I think, I, yeah. I think she'll get outclassed. But when I say outclassed, as long as you stun the characters, that's all you need to do. Okay? Just stun the characters. And hopefully have a useful attribute and fire that may help somebody else in the future. Or maybe it helps Soldier 11 a lot if you get lucky and, pick, and get one of her in the future. Or maybe someone broken Bellabog comes out at some point. Because Bellabog is... is kind of not the greatest out of the four of them uh, you know out of the full four ones that we have right now i actually think bellabog is probably the worst <laughs> uh <laughs> yeah because the cunning hairs have nicole and ambi and ambi is so good man like ambi is so good <laughs> ambi is so good <laughs> So, I don't know. Yeah, they're kind of awkward. I don't know. Don't treat me like a fool! I know you don't intend to defect! Does the name Crimson Twilight sound familiar to you? <gasps> Not really. You see, the crafty broker Shepard's intelligence network has long since been compromised. I'm not interested in personal grudges between intelligence brokers, of course. All you need to know is this is the end for you. Is Ambi really good? Yeah, she she stuns really nicely. She she puts the enemies in the air too. She, one of her attacks, I forgot which one it is. I think it's her EX special. One of them puts the enemies in the air, and that's so good for juggling and keeping the keeping the enemies like effectively effectively stunned longer or at least like in action longer 
I think her element is really good. I think her being with Nicole is really good. Because Nicole gives defense shred, and that's really, really nice. And I think she's, I think as a free-to-play option, I think she's a fantastic choice. Oh my gosh. Like, she stuns really, fairly effectively. She's got vertical uh, potential, too. Uh, because over time, you can buy copies of her in shop. Yeah, I, I'm quite a fan of Ambi. I think she's great. I honestly think that most people should be building her if they don't have Lycan. Uh, or Kaleida, especially. Like, yeah. <laughs> I think most people should be building her. I think she's great. Hmm. Because here, at the end of the day, right, all Ambi needs to do is get the stun gauge up. That's all she's got to do. That's all she, that's her one job. The one job is to get them to get, to get stunned. That's all they got to do. <laughs> so even if you don't like her too much, so long as she can just do that simple job by getting her impact stat up and giving her a good W engine. And uh, and giving her some impact artifacts and that one set that increases impact. So long as you do that, GG's go next. You know, just deal with it for a second. Do you know if I did my 6k, 6k points for Hollow Zero, should I wait till reset? Um, hmm. Yeah, maybe. Since so you have something more to do, I mean, if you don't mind doing it twice, I don't think doing it twice really does anything for you. We don't wage wars unprepared. I don't expect bugs scavenging in the dirt to understand matters of military integrity. Oh my goodness. What are you talking about? You're not the only ones who planned ahead. Our elite soldiers are on their way right now. Surrender your weapons while you can. Otherwise, you'll become nothing but martyrs. Trigger, current position status. What? It's not going through. Don't bother, Sergeant and Imposter. I'm sure you're familiar with signal jamming, right? This equipment belongs to the Defense Force, after all. That's right. It's the transmission device you tried bugging me with last time. You modified it to record any messages it Yeah, Bell is me. What is going on here? Expected it to have already yes, we're getting ambushed. You've been surrounded by rebels and your fake identities have been leaked. So the 11 stayed behind to hold back the rebels and ask you to help her lost comrades. Now, across the entire hollow, only our troops can communicate. Your dear comrades in the defense. But they won't be. You're fooling yourselves. Leave these fools to me. I'll hold them off to buy you some time. Now, fake Faithen, please go help my lost allies. Okay. Run. I'll hold them off. You sure? I gotta do this with Ben and Nekomata. Calculating emergency evacuation route. You can't get away! Catch that bang boo! But we're no pushovers either. Calculating emergency evacuation route. I detect given the You needn't worry. Your all-powerful assistant has located a nearby def Okay. Get yourself there, and we can find a way out. This ejector should be useful. A useful for what? Useful for what? What? Wise, are you on drugs? Am I gonna change the direction of it? Extracting carrot data. Okay, good.
Recompiling Soldier 11's private number found, creating a backup. No. Even if the contact station could try all the secret channels at once, there's too much static for us to hold down a signal. Suggestion. Abandon the existing Defense Force communication protocols and reestablish a new communication network. I can try to retrieve the Defense Force communications data left over from the previous two commissions and establish a temporary link. I thought that clear cache button was just for show, but this time, we really owe you one. Honestly, Fairy is carrying this entire plot. All right, hurry up then. Military Fairy carries this whole game. Basic edition uploaded. Things are tense right now. You can all thank me later. Oh, it worked. We've got a signal from outside. I see you. Who are you? Where are you? Don't worry. I work with Soldier 11. Thanks to you, communications have been restored. Is this going to be a future character? I am aware of your cooperation with Soldier 11. We will reorganize our offensive on our own. Please hurry back to support Soldier 11. Going back the way we came is the fastest way to get to Soldier 11, but the road is packed with rebels, and we're alone. Don't worry. I'll do my best to cover you. You're going to join us? Are you coming now? Should I pick you up? That's not needed. As I said, I see you, and that's enough. Sniper trigger in position. Please. Feel free to move out. I didn't know you can get two double S's I'll and a temple. From here. Oh, 100%. The the faded the faded double five star has not happened to me yet in this game. I think it happened to me once in Heroes. Statistically, it's gonna happen at one point. Uh, it's gonna happen eventually at one point. If we all play, eventually we'll get there. Wait, has it happened any of all? Uh, wait, have y'all guys? Have has anyone here? I'm sure ever ever had a double five star. Wait. Looks like Soldier Eleven fought Once. Was it the one you wanted, and then a one fifty fifty? We should hurry. Double Yalan? That's insane. The road is closed. We have to press both controllers at the same time. Give me a hand. I got triple standard go on a standard so once, and they were all weapons. Oh, man. Target locked. Oh, my goodness. We got a sniper? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Nubalette? When I was getting Ron May. Two Graces and Fire Girl. Oh my god. Leave this area to me. Go and help her. Very lucky. Oh my goodness. I think the luckiest that I've been since since playing uh Star Rail and Genshin and and ZZZ, I guess the luckiest I've been was getting Ellen in five pulls. Um but that was kind of past pity, so it didn't really, you know. That, that was out there losing my 50 50. And getting Kachang, I think. Honestly, getting two Lycans is kind of nutty, too. Take 
These two are so slow. It's so funny. Like, I got that two slowest characters in a game, help me. <laughs> Damn, where's Team A? <laughs> to join up with Team F and G. <laughs> where's Team A? <laughs> We've been overpowered. Requesting backup. Oh my. Damn, she hesitated. <laughs> You're strong for just one person, but it's useless. Coming from the defense force, you should understand. Individual strength is futile when faced with professional military teamwork. Surrender, defense force rat! You guys proved pretty tough, but it's useless. <laughs> what a fool. Do it. Oh my god. What was that? What was that? What's going on? What's happening? Hey! Coming from the defense force, you should understand. Your little tricks are futile when faced with professional military teamwork. Oh, right. You don't get it. Because you're nothing but a despicable traitor. Well, she, um, I guess she, she kind of ate that a little bit, I, I guess. <laughs> Damn it. Fall back! I love her visual design. She's so boring. Ah! She's so boring, Elby! Another me. chance. Let's pursue. <laughs> <laughs> she's gorgeous, but she's so boring. Traitors, <laughs> <laughs> the imposter is catching up. Why is it so difficult? I can't believe there's anyone in the world as incredible as Faithen. Yeah, I don't know what to believe anymore. Thanks for your support, I guess. All right, brothers, you're up. Remember, for true justice. Now, to preserve our energy, the main force will flee first. Huh? Yes, sir. Don't worry. We'll take care of it. Don't let them through. The rest of you, there's no escape. Your weapons are your life. You should be well aware that prisoners of war are taken good care of. Just give me the whereabouts of Mr. Mole. And I'll make sure you get the treatment you deserve. If if that's what she says, Warren Officer, they're real tough. But we don't stand much chance with so little firepower. Warrant Officer is my old title. Under our banner of justice, we are all equal as comrades in arms. We shall not cease in exposing war crimes. We shall not cease our march. Well, then die. What do you want? What do you argue with you? <laughs> I mean, like, what do you, I mean, like, finally. Um. Uh, let's see. There we go. Fire's ready. Oh, she just killed him. God. Bank, could you please? Bank, could you, could you please? 
There we go. Target acquired. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Open fire! like us no mercy it's true my men are clueless i've always been the one to contact mr mole wait a minute i know that voice what the heck is what's his name who's the noodle guy mr ramen what's his name what's he doing here general chop what are you doing here do what you want with me but them please send them to a military tribunal <laughs> So they can at least get a fair trial. I think there's a misunderstanding. I'm a soldier, not a brute. Everyone, including you, is going to get court-martialed. You are going to hit me? I don't know what you've heard. As I recall, you've just confessed to being closely associated with Mr. Mole. Tell me where he went, and you all will have plenty of room to negotiate your sentences. I feel like there's another character who is exceedingly similar to this one, who's about to be the limited five star or the next banner. Do y'all see the vision? I feel I feel like there's something that's kind of similar <laughs> to another character. I, I don't know. I hmm. <laughs> what's my level? Thirty four. The prisoners were stubborn, but they finally gave up the mole's escape route. Should I be concerned about what he said just now? You mean, about me disposing of rebels? Soldiers follow their superior's orders. That includes orders not known to the public. In fact, the only thing shared publicly is the summer menu for the canteen. I did what I must as a soldier. My loyal service doesn't require me to be a perfect and flawless individual. Do we have to keep discussing this? All that's left to do now is to chase down the mole. Lead the way, proxy. All right, I mean, if you say so. <clears throat> I hope at the end of this, we don't have to keep on being so business because I'm kind of sick of it. The showdown is near. I hope we can get some noodles and have some fun, you know, so we don't have to keep on doing some work. Like, I hope we can have a good time. I do want to cop the next girl, unfortunately. Uh, what's her name? The one coming after, uh, uh, Shu Yan. Are mine to punish. Jane Doe. Okay, okay. No, you okay. okay. Hmm? What's going on? <sighs> Is this the mole? Get out of my way! 
so much damage. That was really good. Wow. Wow, that was really good too. Wow. <laughs> okay, wait. Nekomata is insanely broken. What? Uh That's that's <laughs> Okay. I see why she moved up on the tier list. Funnily enough, earlier today the ZZZ tier list was was updated and I'm pride win and guess who moved up to S <laughs> to, to fucking tier 0. <laughs> like yeah, this all makes sense. Grace is a little bit surprising to me, but not, I guess not really. Corn moved up, that's really nice. Ambi moving up makes a lot of sense. Nicole moving up makes a lot of sense. She has defense shred, like that's broken, what? Gives it up to a thousand attack, broken. Gives you penetration, extends shock, broken. Uh, this is the anomaly DPS. Um, probably, I mean, I don't know why Piper went up, actually. That's kind of an interesting one. I don't know why that. I have to look up that one. Corrin being up makes a lot of sense. I definitely think Corrin would be better than someone like Billy. Um, I think Grace going up. I had to look at that one, too. I wonder what that happened. But this makes so much sense. Like, she's insane. <laughs> what? With Grace, what I, what I learned about her, what, or what I, what I, what I assume with Grace is... You basically just blow your load and throw out two billion things and then a switch. That's that that's the whole character. You 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 get up your stacks, you throw out all the grenades, you maybe you throw out your 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 ult or whatever, and then you swap back to your DPS or your stun and then go back to, to business. That, that's really what her thing is, is that she has really short field time and just does whatever she wants to and then swaps back out and then you do it all over again. You missing up, mixing up Sokaku and Nakamata is so funny. I'm so sorry. I mean Sokaku. I'm so sorry. My bad. Was I doing that? Wow, that's actually kind of annoying. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> sorry. Oopsie. <laughs> Oop. I can't believe they pursued us so far and caused such heavy losses. And with so oh, I'm so people. sorry. Oops. Why, thank you. By the way, Soldier 11 left a message saying they evacuated, probably to take in the prisoners. So, we're the only ones here right now. <laughs> Who's talking? Your scheme almost worked out, but you were wrong about two things. First, you underestimated the soldier. Second, the truth is, we are the real Phaethon. <gasps> Fairy is showing the size of the hollow rapidly getting smaller. We did what we came here for. Let's get out of here. Uh, wait a minute. S help me. Lord Faven, let me be your dog. <laughs> well. Well. That's what you get for being selfish and stupid. Wait, do I have it? Wait, hold on, hold on, wait. Where'd it go? Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. It should be on my D drive, right? Where'd it go? Wait, where did it go? Oh my god. It's gone. I'll have to find it later then. Oh, I know where it is. Yeah, okay, I have to get it later. Oh well. No matter how many times we find ourselves in these situations, I always end up feeling kind of sorry for them. Is that it? I hate that when the quest ends, the music just cuts. It just cuts. It's just gone. No fade out, no nothing. The screen goes black, it's over. I always think like, did my computer freeze? <laughs> I'm like, huh? 
Was that me? <laughs> did, did, did it crash? Sorry, we went ahead earlier. Some of the prisoners can't stay in the hollow for long. What about your teammates? What about your teammates? I thought we'd get to see them. I sent them back first. If we get the chance, Crimson Twilight, I hope to formally introduce all of you. I was impressed with your acting and your quick response. Not to mention your skill as a proxy. Thank you, you're so sweet. The truth is, I'm the real Bathan. For real. This show's over. You acted the part well. I'm sure you'll be just as famous as Faithen one day. Well, I should be heading back. Perhaps I'll stop for some noodles along the way. I heard there's a super spicy noodle place nearby that's worth checking out. If that's so, then you should see me around here more often, Crimson Chili. Crimson Chili? Why are you... Please, call me Faithen. Hmm. Fake it till you make it, right? I think I get it. Soldier 11, please. Goodbye, Faithen. I hope we can both have some good noodles tonight. Okay. Discuss the commission with Wise. Why? Is he like my dad? Like, what? what, what why? Wasn't he there the whole time? What do you mean, discuss with Wise? Okay, whatever. What do you want? What did I fix it? That's what you get for being selfish and stupid. There it is. So does that mean it's done? Are we done? Neat. Well, we learned all about Soldier 11, and honestly, it's it's the kit. It, it's the kit more than anything. What would you like me to do? You want you want scary movies? Thrillers? I got you. Attack on Cybers. Perfect. Nice. All right. Well, I think that is a good point uh, of stopping because I have got to go to dirt bike racing tomorrow. It was just one of those things where it's like, you know, what extrovert is going to invite us out today? <laughs> and and we it, it's like the you know what I mean? <laughs> what what extrovert is going is going to slurp me up somewhere? I don't know what the hell is going to happen, but, you know. I guess it's IRL Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah, kind of out there, right? So, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I will excitedly tell you all about it uh, when I stream probably Sunday. Um, because I have a project that I need to work on for my class. And I'm sure that's going to take some time for me to focus on, which I probably will not focus on. I'll probably will ADHD it and play games or something and not stay focused on it until about three hours before it's ready when I'm supposed to be streaming and then I'm going to stream late that day because I should have been working on my homework, but it, I didn't. And then I started stream late. So you know how it goes. Anyway, I'm going to go. Um, great stream. We got a Kirby done. We got a lot of Kirby done and we got a lot of ZZZ done. I will try to get myself to get to level 36 by the time I come back. That probably will mean that I'll use my batteries for that. But as a creator, I'll do what I must. So, uh, thank you all so much for joining me today. I will see you on Sunday. Wait, what? Is there a broken bang boo? Where? Wait, where? Where? In front of the store? 
Is this broken? Was that it? Oh, it, it it didn't look broken. It looked it looked f perfectly functional. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Anyway, yes. Um, I'm going to. What are you doing, serving? Hello, <laughs> Doctor Chuck. <laughs> okay. Wait. <laughs> Okay, wait, hold on, wait, okay, wait. Anyway, um, yeah, I will see you guys uh, on Sunday more than likely. If, if something comes up, then I'll stream on Saturday, okay? All right, I love you all, and thanks for joining for Kirby, thanks for joining for ZZZ, and I'll see you soon. And I love you all so very much. Good night, everybody! You last, you last, you last, you last. What we need to do is raid somebody sometime, and then spam them with you last. God, oh, that'd be so good. <laughs> they wouldn't even they wouldn't even know what's going on. They probably would ban us. <laughs>